into english but essentially mm -hmm. what it means is that uh, you have put your finger on a sad nerve no, or something understood like understood i said no okay yeah okay. so uh, actually yeah so for the uh week wise wetage so we'll uh, we'll upload on the discourse maybe by tomorrow uh, clear i mean more clearly but uh, so far you can expect like see uh, for the week 1 to week 8 uh, you can expect around uh, 30 to 33 per, i mean 30 to 32% and uh, week 9 and week 10 will cover uh, around uh, 40% and week 11 and week 12 will cover approximately uh, 30% okay uh, sir i heard so, the, uh, but, most uh, of the mm -hmm. most of the things will uh, cover from week 9 to 11 the 9 to 12 right so yeah that's why i'm saying uh, 9 and 10 week 9 and take uh, 10 will cover uh, approximately 40 percent and 11 and 12 will cover approximately uh, you can see uh, approximately 30 percent I mean 27 to 20, uh, 27 to 30 and rest of the remaining parts will be from uh, week one to week eight. okay let me share my screen Yes, sir, would we be solving questions today or? Uh, okay, I will discuss the concepts uh, along with the one example for, uh, I mean, related to each concept. Okay. okay. That will be sounds, okay for everyone. Sounds, sounds good. Yeah. So your uh, weightage will be like uh, week one to week, week eight. You can uh, uh, expect approximately, when say, 32%. And for uh, nine and 10, approximately 40 percent and 11 and 12 okay so you can expect around 28 to 30 percent okay so this is something uh, approximate it is will uh, will post on the discourse uh, also okay sir mm -hmm. will you take some tricky questions today as well for examples yeah, yeah we'll see we'll see see today's uh, agenda is uh, we'll try to cover all the concepts uh, along with the example. Okay. okay. Sir, actually, previous time uh, I noticed that the, there was a two sessions regarding just problem solving sessions. Yeah, yeah. So we are planning to do that uh, session, problem solving for the I mean, previous year uh, in term session. So we'll uh, update on the calendar and we'll send you announcement also. Okay. Maybe an, in next week before the mock session. Okay. Okay. okay? So when is mock test for example? Oh yeah, so one more important thing. Uh, up, I think uh, at 10 p.m. today, mock will be released. Okay. So the mock will be more or less uh, like uh, uh -huh. uh, end term, sir. Yes, yes. Same level you can expect. Okay. okay. Now, so let's start the week nine concepts. Okay. So what is the, okay, so what is the week nine basically? Anyone can tell me what is the meaning of parameter estimation? Okay, so as I told you, uh, approximately 40% will cover from the nine and 10. So you can expect uh, some questions from nine and 10, it means uh, questions related to method of moments, uh, maximum likelihood, like that, some bias, variance and all things, okay? So concepts. Okay, so what is the parameter estimation? Anybody? All the <coughs> distributions uh, will mm -hmm. have certain parameters. Uh, for example, Correct. if you take uh, uh, continuous, uh, it will mm -hmm. be a comma b, or uh, it can be lambda, or uh, it can be alpha, beta. So these, uh, which is generally we write within uh, brackets, Correct. Correct. these are called the parameters. So in these problems, we don't know what is the value of that parameter. Mm -hmm. So we have to estimate, estimate. based correct. on the given data. Correct, correct. So suppose I'm considering x1, x2, xnr, uh, something iid uh, from the distribution x. So I'm assuming this uh, x has uh, something, uh, let's say, distribution by, let's say, some parameters. Okay, let's say it has two parameters. Okay, for example, just assume. Or you can treat, a, you can take a single parameter also. So what is that? Uh, so this, these are the something. Uh, so we don't know the values of theta one and theta two, correct? So what you have to do, you have to estimate the values of this, this parameter, correct? 
am i right so yes, i have to estimate the values yes, of these parameters it can be anything let's say you can uh, consider the normal mu comma sigma square suppose mu is uh, known and sigma square is unknown so you have to estimate the value of sigma square correct like that so it can be any kind of parameter now so tell me so we have to estimate the values of so whether uh, this will be random uh, variable or a so constant it, value typically random variable random variable. Random. see are these uh, parameters only statistical parameters i mean or could it be yes kind of okay. yeah. yeah and see this will be something suppose i am uh, assuming uh, this is the uh, so okay so there is two terms parameter and estimator correct what yeah. is the what are these two parameter so parameter means so this is the constant value right correct yes sir and what is the estimator suppose i uh, okay so suppose for one sampling instance for one sample i got value of theta a theta one it's it's it starts theta one hat so is it random variable or it's a uh, uh, constant this is a random variable random variable why random variable it is a function of sample correct correct so this is nothing but th this will be the function of samples right see we'll see the examples because uh we have estimated like uh, x bar for the mu right if you do some maximum likelihood method of moment so you will get some function of the uh, samples to estimate your parameter right are you able so, to relate so the it value va so the values of the parameter mm -hmm. is a parameter values of the population values of the population no, no, no. See, you were saying mm -hmm. parameter is a constant value right yeah it's, it, yeah basically yeah it can parameter only be a constant if it is Population. Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, so, so the IID sample supposed to be universe, right? But yeah, you are see, taking the IID sample, it's a good. Okay, because suppose you want to know the some characteristics. So as I had taken uh, again and again. So suppose I want to know some characteristics of uh, rose plant. Okay, plant of rose. So what you have to do, and so. I have to let's say I'm I'm going to so tell me first sample I have uh, let's say I'm interested to know uh, time or uh, I mean a month or whatever to uh, there is you can say length uh, how much time it is taking to numbers in a plant right yeah, that's the okay so your parameter no see see what I'm trying to say is here see suppose I'm interested to know some characteristic of a rose plant okay so what right. you have to do so you can take 10 different rose plant right samples of 10 different rose plant or five different whatever number of samples you want to take so that's uh, all the samples should be iid right all the samples should be identical all the samples should be of the rose plant correct okay that's the meaning of say, uh, then you can get some characteristic some information about the rose plant right so correct. you want to know the time uh, to let's say increase the uh, Height of the that plant or uh, some leaves and all thing in any kind of yeah you, uh, you may be interested. So thing is that why we are considering the identical. This suppose I'm taking the ten. They are uh, comparable. They correct, the correct, correct. Okay. So I'm taking the ten different plants of rose. See, if you are taking like one plant of rose, one plant of lotus, one plant of lily, one plant of another kind of thing, so then. Yeah, they will not be a same class. Correct, either. correct. Yes. Then yeah. how you can say something with some good uh, probability, right? So that's we are. It's good to consider the IID samples, right? So my Means question was, sir, uh, mm -hmm. the relationship between those sample of IIDs and mm -hmm. your parameter theta. Mm -hmm. So what is the relationship between these two? No, see, these see that see that see uh, see x one x two x n. Suppose I'm saying it is following some IID X, correct? Okay. This X has some parameters. Okay. That I want to estimate with the help of sample. Like for instance, the rose height, right? Rose plant's height is a correct, parameter, correct, correct. which is denoting as a theta one. Okay. Yes. Let's say number let's of leaves could be theta two. Is that what you mean? Number of number of leaves in those plants mm -hmm. could be another parameter which could be denoted as theta two. Yeah, it can be anything. See, thing is that that parameter. So for my be... understanding, see, I'm just clarifying this uh, from the see, same. Yeah, yeah. Suppose uh, you want to know. Let's say, see, thing is that uh, you can say theta one as a let's say average time. 
to increase the plant of uh, rose. Okay, fine. Okay, theta two can you can take anything like uh, height of that. Okay, so you can define the parameter as per the okay. requirement. Okay. okay, yeah. Okay, see normally what we are what we uh, what we are doing in general case. Normally we are interested in average and variances. So far, right? Suppose it is following right. some distribution. So I may interested. Uh, what is the mean of that? What is the variance of that uh, distribution, right? How yeah. much variability is there? How much? What is the on an average? What I can say anything, right? Correct. So that's something. It's uh, you can define anything. Okay. But and when it uh, comes to maximum likelihood, then we'll be. Uh, I mean, we'll be bothered about n also, right? Yeah. Then it's yeah. That's why. See, thing is that uh, if you are taking the large samples, right? okay. So number of samples is matter actually. Okay. Because it gives you something uh, good accuracy. Uh, if you are taking, if you are uh, concluding in anything about your population, then it, it gives you good accuracy. We we'll see the example. For this now, we are we are we are interested in uh, mean and the variance. Yes, yes. For this now, yeah, that's okay. so, so far. Okay. Now, see, if you are estimating, then there might be a chance of getting the error. Correct. Correct. How I can define the error? Estimator minus parameter. Estimator, see, error means what you have estimated and what is the value of that parameter. Correct. That might be the, I mean, that so is defined as the what is the your error. Correct. Correct. Now tell me. So if you want to, uh, if you want to find the error, so tell me, uh, what is the probability of this one? Probability of error. Suppose I'm assuming this is greater than some value, some small positive value is greater than two. So this should be small or this should be large? Small. Small. small right? Correct. Miss. So that's a simple. I mean, you are trying to do like. I mean, uh, you are trying to. We are trying to edge close, edge possible. Correct. Correct. Edge close, edge possible. Yeah. So this is something I can estimate the error. So another thing is uh, just uh, concept. Uh, it's a bias, okay? Bias of that. So how I can define the bias? Reduce estimated value of error. Correct. Correct. So bias of theta cap minus theta is nothing but expected value of theta cap. Error. It's a, it's a theta cap comma theta. Expected value of the error. So error, that's what we suppose. You can compute the bias of like this, okay? So since this is the constant, so I can write write like this, okay? Yes. Sir. So sometimes uh, we are uh, writing like this. Suppose I'm saying expected value of theta cap minus theta is equal to zero means what? Bias is zero. Yeah. Yes, sir. So what does this mean? That means expected um, value of theta cap is, is equal to theta. That means there is no error. That means yes, there is no error. That's okay. So what I can interpret this one? I can interpret theta cap is an is unbiased. Correct. Unbiased estimator. Yes, sir. Correct. Unbiased estimator of what? Theta, right? Means bias is zero. That means that uh, that uh, estimator is the unbiased estimator for this theta. No, but but this doesn't mean that the hmm? you cannot have an error. Yeah, it can still have an error, right? It yeah, can yeah. Still have an error. See, there are it's... there are some. See, if you do some sampling, so it's a uh, some, I mean, it's a some depth level. So there are two kind of error you can uh, get. It's a something called uh, one is uh, okay. So one is chance, chance kind of uh, causes, chance kind of error. So chance uh, right. kind of error means uh, that error uh, which is not in human control, which is yeah. beyond of the human control. Okay. Yeah. So that is something. Okay. But assignable causes means assignable error is something. Uh, which you can detect and try to remove yeah. that one. Okay. Sir, it will be unbiased for a large value of n. Mm, exactly. Yes, yes. That's why. Yeah. See, that's why we are trying to always say, uh, we are say like, uh, and when n is large, we are choosing large samples. Okay, as much we can take. Correct. Yes, sir. Then only it will be biased. Yes. No bias means see. Bias means if expected value of error is not zero, there is something value. Too biased, sir. Sorry. Yeah, that means unbiased. Okay. So what is the risk? 
there is one concept of this we'll see we'll see the examples related to each of this sir i have a doubt in bias uh -huh, yes sir why is bias the uh, long term average of the error okay so what is the expected value basically long term average sir okay expected of random variable so what what we are doing expected value of the error yes sir okay the same thing no sir why are we uh, quantifying bias as the expectation of error okay why we are quantifying okay so derivation is not there for this one okay so this is something you can uh, okay so this is something you can uh, relate like see so there is two terms biased and opposite of this is the bias one right correct now so bias is defined is something what is the expected value of error okay now see that means in long run how much you can expect your error how much biasness is there okay sir could you repeat that okay. i'm it. saying okay so i'm saying uh, see what uh, see expected value of a random variable is means what long term i mean long run average yes means sir if i'm doing the experiment same again and again uh, again and again means large number of times then i can expect the theoretical average to be same as the population one okay now the same thing you can uh, treat here expected value of the error so for large number of samples how much i can expect i mean uh, I, i can expect how much error is there okay so expected value of error means how much biasness is there how much bias is there basically how much uh, mean it is from the central mean correct value. correct from the central mean and which side is it and basically. it's, it's basically it gives you central idea right correct correct so because yes, see, this is theta cap is your estimated value correct yes sir which you estimated correct with the help of samples and this is your parameter value so you want to see expected value of this error okay got it yes sir got it okay that's why we are saying if this this expected value of i mean if your expectation of the error is zero that means this theta cap is unbiased estimator of the theta means there is no bias because it is pointed to the centralized value correct correct yes sir got it thank got it? you no yeah correct so now next uh, uh, is the uh, risk okay so we are defining these all things so we'll do the examples uh, related to this okay so what is the risk anybody risk yeah, yeah. is expected value of square value error is square expected value of Expert. Okay, so what's the need of uh, square of error? Second yeah. movement to. I mean, what's the need of uh, doing this? I mean, so that you remove the direction of the bias. Direction of the bias, and the uh, see, uh, and we got something in terms of positive, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's nothing but uh, you can say mean squared error, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, right? sir. Because uh, y squared, this I mean mean squared error. So we are taking the square of the error with the expected value. Okay, so you can take uh, you can treat it uh, treat it as mean squared error. Okay, now so next one is the variance. Correct. So what is the variance? Tell me. Suppose I want to know the variance of theta cap, or uh, you can say variance of estimator. Okay, then how I can define the variance? Okay, tell me what is the variance of a random variable? Expected value of x minus expected value of x whole square, right? X square, yes, sir. Correct. Right? Suppose I'm saying what is the variance of estimator theta? I mean, not theta, theta cap. So it will be theta, theta cap theta theta minus minus expected value of theta. Correct. Right? This is yes, something sir. now. Suppose I'm, I want to know the variance of the error. So what it will be variance of theta cap minus theta? Correct. What is this? Yes, sir. 
this is variance of theta the variance of theta cap because theta the is a theta cap yes correct and we know variance of a constant will be zero 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 and uh, there is one relationship it's kind uh, called bias variance trade off so i have bias okay so bias is what theta cap uh, is nothing but uh, expected value of the error right and what is the risk risk is expected value of the error square right now so can i write uh, this risk uh, as uh, same as the bias bias plus variance square of bias yeah so do i need to do derivation or is it okay for everyone okay okay yes. okay so suppose uh, yeah It, suppose yeah 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 yes please go ahead no we don't need derivations anyway we will be basing on this and continuing for yeah yeah much. correct 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 so see suppose uh, risk and uh, variance is given to you so you can find out the bias i mean out of this uh, quantity any two quantities is given to you then you can find out the third one right yes sir okay so let me go to the that uh, uh, one second activity question so that we can see the questions related related to this okay. rohit is asking you something sir no that is it is uh, okay yes Rohit yes please one. yeah yes please rohit please go ahead hello he is not there or is there rohit if you there please go ahead unmute yourself to speak yeah you can unmute yourself no no problem डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन विद अनोन मीन म्यू करेक्ट आई मीन वी डोंट हैव द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट मीन म्यू एंड बट वी हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड डेविशन विच इज टू so it's saying let uh, mu cap is the x1 which is the first observation b and estimator of mu so whether see this is x1 what is this this is the function of sample also correct right see this mu cap define can be defined as mu cap as x1 plus x2 mu cap can be x1 plus x2 divided by 2 anything function of the sample that estimator should be the function of samples okay i can write like x2 plus 3 times x3 divided by 2 anything okay so what information we have we have mean is unknown and but standard deviation is 2 but one estimator is saying x1 so uh, it's saying it uh, this is an uh, estimator of mu so we have to find the bias of mu correct now tell me uh, so what will the bias of mu bias of mu hat uh, yeah bias of mu hat so it it will be expected value of the error right what so, is the error mu, mu hat minus mu, mu. So yeah this i can write down the expected value of mu cap minus mu right correct now tell yes, me sir. in the question what is saying this distribution has unknown mean mu right means expected value of mu cap is what mu x1 x1 mu. expected mu. value of x1 which is mu yeah so, yeah so next step can be the mu cap is given to us x1 x1 correct. okay so what is the expected value of x mu 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 minus mu bias is zero here zero zero correct yes now are you getting the idea yes sir yes sir now what is the next question next question is saying uh, what is the variance of mu cap correct so variance yes, of mu cap means what variance of x1 so it is already given to variance of x1 but standard deviation is given as to, uh, given as two so variance will be four yes, four correct it's a direct thing now next yes, next is it is about risk of mu so we know risk is nothing but uh, bias, bias, bias plus, plus, plus variance plus 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 so bias is zero variance is four so risk will be four four clear yes sir okay now so we can do the another question if you want or is it, it is clear then we can move ahead let's do this one okay okay yes, because sir. it's a something mu is known but it's asking about bias of sigma hat is square okay let's do let's Correct. do this one. 
सो वी हैव इन्फॉर्मेशन एक्स वन टू एक्स वन आर आई आई डी नॉर्मल म्यू कॉम सिग्मा स्क्वायर सो एक्स वन टू एक्स एन दीज आर ऑल आर आई आई डी नॉर्मल म्यू कॉम सिग्मा स्क्वायर सो इट इज सेंग एन एस्टिमेटर सिग्मा स्क्वायर हैड इट इज गिवेन दैट दिस थिंग्स ओके जस्ट टेल मी दिस वैल्यू सो सिग्मा स्क्वायर हैट इज नथिंग बट वन अपॉन एन समेसन ऑफ एक्स आई स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स बार स्क्वायर ओके सो दिस इज सेंग दिस इज एन एस्टिमेटर ऑफ द सिग्मा स्क्वायर राइट so it is asking me what is the bias of sigma square hat okay this is the question so how should i proceed so we can I, write it as expectation of sigma error. hat square minus, minus sigma, sigma square. square this is clear because we are writing expected value of theta cap minus theta i mean expected value of the error right we can write this yes sir What should be the next yeah. step? Expected value of sigma square hat minus sigma square. Correct. Yes, sir. So, what is the expected? I mean, what is sigma square hat? So, it's given as one upon n summation i to n x i square minus of x bar square. Correct. Correct. Now, what should be the next step? One upon n summation i to n expected value of x i square Correct. minus expected value of x bar square. Correct. That will be again. Uh, okay. Now tell me. This is one upon n. So you know. See what information we have. We have information about variance of x i from the question. Correct. And x follows yes, the red. Correct. See. Radius. Suppose I am saying x one to x n are i d normal. New comma sigma square. Then what will be the distribution of x bar? New comma sigma no, square no, by no. n. Yes. Correct. Sir. Now tell me. Can I write? Okay. So tell me. Uh, as we know, what is the variance of x? Expected value of x square minus expected value of x whole yes, square, right? So can I write down the expected value of x square as same as the variance of x plus expected value of x uh, whole square? Yes, sir. Correct. Now, if this is x i, so I can write down the expected value of x i square in the place of I can write the variance of x i plus expected value of x i whole square. Correct, sir. Correct. In the place of expected value of x x bar square, what I can write down? Right, I can write down the variance of x bar plus expected value of x bar whole square. Correct. Sir. Can I do this? Yes, sir. Okay. Now. Sir, in the second question. Sir, how did you do this? Okay, so this is the variance formula. No, no. Uh, hmm. After this x bar. Okay, let me tell you. This is the variance formula. Yes. So I can write down the expected value of x bar square as variance of x plus. Yeah, x that plus is okay. Okay. So for a single random variable, I can write down the same thing. This is also fine. So in the place of x, I suppose I have x bar square. So can I write this one? Means how we are replacing x bar by x i. I'm the not replacing x i as the x bar. I'm saying suppose in the place of x i, I have x bar, so I can write down the in the same format or not? Yes. That is. Okay. I'm not replacing x i as the x bar. Okay. I'm just okay. Uh, trying to say how I can write down, uh, how I can uh, replace this quantity with the help of this quantity. So why I'm replacing this? Because uh, from the given information, I have variance of x bar. And expected value of x bar, right? Not expected value of x bar is square. Okay? okay. Okay. So what we have, we have one upon n summation i to n expected value of x i square minus of expected value of x bar is square minus of sigma is square. Correct? So one upon n summation i to n. So in the place of expected value of x i square, can I write this whole quantity? Yes, sir. Okay. Is it? Uh, I mean, every everyone is getting the point. Yes, sir. Okay. Now tell me, in the place of this one, can I write down this whole quantity? Variance of x bar. So it's a minus. So it will be minus of expected value of x bar whole square, right? Minus of sigma square. Tell me, as per the given information from the question, what is the variance of x i sigma square? Sir. 
Yes. What is the expected value of xi mu? So it will be mu square, right? Correct. And what is the variance of x bar? Sigma square by n, right? Correct. And what is the expected value of x bar? Mu. So it will be mu square minus sigma square, right? Sure. So it will be n times sigma square plus mu square divided by n minus sigma square by n minus mu square minus sigma square. So this n will get cancelled out. So it will be sigma square plus mu square minus sigma square by n minus mu square minus sigma square. So this will get cancelled out. So we'll have sigma square by n. So let's check the whether this. So is it the correct one? Correct. Yeah. So this is the correct one. So now you are getting the how you can find out the bias uh, and uh, risk and variance. Sir, can, can you just go back to the sheet? What is that important point that we noted in that question? Means where is the change actually coming? Yeah. See, change is here because see, I don't have so I don't know the value of expected value of x i square. Okay. But I know the expected value of x i from the uh, question, and I know the what is the variance of x i, right? So I can transform this expected value of x i square in the form of variance of x i plus expected value of x i whole square. Okay. Sir. Okay. Yeah. So this, I mean, this is the large one. I mean, long question, but. Uh, uh, For the simple one, okay. So let's do this one. I think after this uh, we can move ahead. Okay, let's do this one. Okay. Last okay. three, last three, yeah. This five, five six, six seven. Five six seven, yeah. Okay, great. So what inform? See the here. Uh, it says x one, x two, x n are IID samples from Poisson lambda. So lambda cap is an estimator of lambda. So this is the sample of uh, I mean function of the samples, right? In the first question, which we have solved, where there was a function uh, that estimator was only x one, which is also a function of random variable, right? A function of the samples. So, first information we have x one, x two, x n are IID. So, these all are IID with Poisson lambda, and lambda cap is an est uh, estimator of the lambda, right? Now, it says uh, what is the bias of the lambda cap? So what is the bias? Expected value of the error, right? So far so good. Now, yes, sir. Expected value of lambda cap minus lambda, right? So what is the lambda cap given to us? X one plus X two divided by two, right? Minus lambda. Everyone is getting the point. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So tell me, what is the okay? So can I write down these things as expected value of x one plus expected value of x two minus lambda? Yes, sir. Okay. So what? So one by two whole into all. Sorry. One more x by expectation earlier of x yeah, by two yeah. okay. x two by two. Yeah. Now it is okay. 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 okay sir. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for this. So what is the expected value of lambda uh, x one? It's a lambda. lambda, right? Because uh, for the Poisson mean and variance are same, correct? So it will be lambda minus lambda is zero. Yes, sir. Now, next question is uh, what is that variance of lambda cap? Okay, so tell me. So variance of lambda cap means what? Variance of x one plus x one plus x two by two. Correct. Now, so what I can write? What it will be? One by, by four, four variance of x one plus because variance of a times x is nothing but a square variance of x right a is nothing but just a constant value so what I can write down it I can write down the variance of x one plus variance of x two right so yes. why am why I can separate why not the covariance term is uh, coming here they, they are independent. independent correct 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 great is a IID sample so we are yeah like yeah plus correct. Correct. What is the variance of x one? Lambda. Why lambda? Lambda. Poisson. It's a Poisson distribution. Correct. Correct. For Poisson, Poisson mean and variance are same. So it will be lambda plus lambda. So it's a lambda by two. Correct. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. So next question is what is the risk of lambda cap? So we know risk is nothing but bias square 
plus variance. Variance. So bias is zero plus variance is lambda by two. So uh, risk is lambda. Lambda by two. Okay. So will you able to do question, uh, questions like that? Sir, bias square plus variance. Sir, sir. Uh, hmm? Just at the end of the thing you showed us, uh, that formula risk is equal to bias plus mm -hmm. variance. Can you yes, show yes, me that, yes. sir? Hmm? Can you show me that? This one? Last, last. No, no. Hmm. At the, after explaining bias, risk, and variance, four, okay, five that, slides back, sir. Okay, okay. That formula one. Okay, this one, huh? Yeah. Oh, bias square. Okay, okay. Yeah, bias square, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. It's Thank not you. bias plus variance. Because, yeah, uh, bias. yeah, if you do the derivation, so. Uh, uh, you will get the same. Okay, so question is clear to all of you. Sir, like this a chain of uh, <coughs> questions we can expect, sir. For yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's why I'm focusing in, in emphasizing on this one. Okay, so first one should be not correct. not kind of uh, same, but uh, you can yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, but so, not that minus sigma squared by two, sir. That is lengthy, sir. No, 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 no. Okay. okay, suppose this is question about lambda one cap is so it's asking about which estimator is better. So how will you proceed for the better? I mean, what should be your, your criteria? Bias should be a minimum most or zero, sir. That is the no, best no, no. one. See, risk okay. should be minimum. Risk, risk, risk should minimum. be minimum or you can say variance should be least. Okay. Correct? If variance is, okay, suppose I'm saying there are two estimators or three estimators. So, uh, variance of first estimator is less than variance of second estimator. That means first estimator is better than the second one. So how would that be the case? But what if it's the See, suppose I'm saying, central, central mean itself? I mean, no, suppose I'm saying, no, because bias squared, no, bias squared will be a positive value. So, if we compare uh, variance plus bias squared means so if we can ignore bias squared, mm -hmm. also that would be fine. Anyway, these are numbers. So we can ignore this positive quantity. If risk one is less than risk two, obviously variance one will be less than variance two, right? Correct. Okay. Suppose I have two estimator. Let's say I have estimator T one and uh, second estimator is T two. Then how I will say the first? I um, mean, which one is the good? In which I I will get the minimum risk or minimum variance? Correct. Least variance. Okay. So if variance of T one is less than variance of T two. I um, mean, T1 estimator, T2 estimator, that means T1 is the uh, better estimator than T2. Then, then why even worry about the risk? See, see, risk is something. See, why I'm writing for the variance? So you can you take more the, samples. That is the. Hmm. Uh, and you can go for the risk also, right? No issues. Yeah, risk is nothing but mean squared error. See, see, I, see. While the bias, you are doing a square of it, mm -hmm. but the magnitude of the value can be different, and that can amplify the risk. Uh, right, can, so, can, can so, you repeat? Can you repeat? See, if you think about mm -hmm. it, while the variance, see clearly, if something has higher variance, you know that it's probably not the best estimator, right? At some level. Yeah, at right. some level. Right, but however, when mm -hmm. you're actually looking at a uh, estimator, you will go by the risk because you also want to look at the magnitude. Magnitude, yeah. That's uh, that uh, inequality bias square plus that quantity. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you can treat which uh, which estimator has uh, minimum risk. So for the purpose of this uh, mm -hmm. course, should mm -hmm. we look at risk or should we look at variance? Uh, you can see if you want to consider, uh, but it's good to look for the risk. Okay. Okay. But if not good, then it will be mentioned like uh, sometimes we see sometimes we mention in the question. See, uh, you have to find the least variance and uh, you have to yeah, identify yeah. Correct, correct, okay? correct. But it's good to go with the risk. Okay, yeah. that that vari uh, bias variance trade off. Is is this because the bias is zero in both the estimators given? See, yeah, if the bias yeah, is then, the same, then it doesn't matter. Then naturally, correct. it's a variance. See, in the, in the, in the previous questions, see, see, listen to me. Uh, in the previous questions, bias was zero, right? In, in this question, also bias will come zero, right? What, whatever question. Okay, we need to check. We need to check whether bias is zero or not. Yeah, bias will be zero. Yeah. yeah. Bias will be zero. So you can go, yeah, yeah. So you can go by the risk also. Variance also okay? Because if you do the risk, you will get the same as the variance. 
if there is a value for bias then we have to consider the risk rather yeah. than yeah. the variance yes. yeah it's yes. good to consider risk yeah yeah okay clear i mean you got the idea about this these three uh, concepts okay yeah yeah okay so will you able to do the questions related to related to these topics we hope yeah, so need some pra need some practice <laughs> yeah yeah i mean yeah, see that's not too much difficult okay so yeah yeah i know okay so you okay, just uh, identify the expected value of your random variables like here okay for the poison it was different for some other distribution it can be different like that okay do you have a question for the normal distribution sir somewhere here uh normal way so we can check from the i mean uh, it's a from poison it's from the something okay so this is the some uh, distribution with unknown mean and uh, unknown standard deviation also could we do this or uh, is it okay yeah one question at least this yeah, just do that sir three of them are continuous so all three you want to do ah uh? okay so, okay let's okay, no no for the description quickly mm -hmm. logic uh okay okay let's do let's do let's do this one after that we'll move to the next topics okay okay Now, so so that the idea is things should be clear to all of you okay so can anyone tell me the values x1 x2 x3 r id with unknown mean and unknown okay okay see. so x1 we have information x1 x2 x3 r uh, id with x and this x has uh, unknown mean mu and unknown standard deviation sigma right and an estimator is given as uh, mu cap which is nothing but three times of mean right okay so what is this this is nothing but function of sample yes yes okay so this is an estimator of the mu so it is the question is it has been asked about bias of mu cap right uh so what is the bias it is expected value of the error right sure. now tell me if expected value of uh, okay so can i write down these things three times of x bar if i am not wrong yes sir we can write it direct right i mean instead of going for each random variable so we can go by this for the simplicity okay so if x i are i id uh, mu comma sigma square then what is the very uh, distribution of x bar it's a uh, mu comma sigma square by n i can write yes yes, yes. Okay. is it okay or should we go by the uh, random variables sir for sigma square upon n yes this is sample yeah hello So that sigma square upon n for x bar for x comma sigma square upon n. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, this is the actually we have done a lot of times actually. See, <laughs> okay. So tell me, ah, uh, x one, x two, x n r, i i d. I'm saying uh, normal mu comma sigma square. Okay, let's see. Okay, so what is the x bar? X bar is nothing but x one plus x two plus so on x n by n, right? This is the something I can define as x bar. So what will be the expected value of x bar? I think you are mu sir. Mu mu mu. Okay. So I think you are uh, you are not joined the previous sessions. Okay. So. All are mu, right? Divided by n, so it will be n times mu divided by n, so it is mu, right? So what I got uh, x bar is the mean of this is mu, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. What is the variance of x bar? Yes. So variance, yeah, please mute. Uh, so what is the variance of x bar will be? So. One upon n square. One upon n square. Variance of each x i, right? Correct. Yes, sir. Correct. So variance of each x i is given as the sigma square. Yes, sir. So what we got here? N, n times square. of sigma square by n square. That means n what? Square. Sigma square sigma by n. Sigma square by n. The same thing I'm, uh, I am. Uh, I said there. Uh, if x one to x n are i i d 
नॉर्मल म्यू कॉमा सिग्मा स्क्वायर और इट्स म्यू कॉमा सिग्मा स्क्वायर लेट से देन एक्स बार विल बी विद मीन म्यू एंड वेरियंस विल बी सिग्मा स्क्वायर बाय एन सिग्मा स्क्वायर बाय एन करेक्ट इट इज सो फार सो गुड दैट दिस इज व्हाट वी एस्टीमेटेड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स बार एंड म्यू राइट यस सर सो एक्स बार इज नथिंग बट जस्ट अ फंक्शन ऑफ योर सैंपल्स राइट या नाउ सो व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव गिवन द म्यू कैप एज 3 टाइम्स ऑफ x1 plus so on xn divided by n root okay so what should i uh, should i go with the random variables or uh, x bar let's go by the random variable that will be everything uh, clear for everyone okay yes so now tell me question is about bias of mu cap right that means what expected value of mu cap minus mu now you mm. people will tell me how should i proceed what should we what should uh, i write the next So expected value is x1 is mu. So this is the mu for every x size. Yes, sir. And yes, for the case, right? Times mu. So we will get n times mu, right? Yes, yes sir. Minus mu, correct? So what we got? Yes, n got times yes, mu. We got mu by right? minus mu. Yes, yeah. mu. Bias is not zero, correct? Yeah, bias yes. is not zero. Yeah. If mu is zero, it will be zero. That's another thing. You can take. <laughs> That's another thing. Okay. So. I mean, it's the. Uh, We are changing the. Yeah, it's feeling good. Uh, bias is zero sometimes. <laughs> okay, so next is variance of mu cap, correct? So variance of yes, mu cap means what? Variance of three by n x one plus so one x one. Arkema. Correct. So what should be the next? Nine upon n square. Nine by n square. Nine by रिस्क इंटरचेंज सो You will be able to do the questions related to this concept. So I'm yes, hoping it is clear to all of you. Okay. Yes. Sir. Oh, sir, okay. I I did it in a different way, sir. We know yeah, yeah. the property mm. of sample. It is uh, variance squared by uh, by n. Yeah. Yeah. That's see. That's what was the thing. So I started by like this. Okay. Uh, I was uh, actually about to start like this. Three x bar. So it's a good. It's, it's directly nine times of sigma square by n. Right. I mean, yeah, nine square. Variance of mu cap means variance of three x bar, so it's a nine times of variance of x bar, so which is nine times three square by n. Nine. Uh, but someone asked how how I got the this x bar, then I started by the random variables. Okay, that's why it's good to know the properties uh, if you have in mind, so it will be it will give you a clear idea. Okay, no no worries. See at the final uh, one, me, you will get the correct answer. Yeah. Uh, In exam, in exam, will they ask us ask these questions pretty directly, or they would ask twisted like in some word problem type, and then they give this? That that you have to identify actually. Means here it is given quite directly. And yeah, means see, terms should be there. Terms will be there because uh, otherwise uh, you will not be able to identify it. So we'll define the uh, clear way, like uh, with the help of like see. i am giving you example with the help of method of moment find the estimator of this with the help of maximum likelihood estimator find of the estimator of this what is the bias and like this okay don't worry about this kind of thing okay that will be given right yeah yeah, yeah. 
so next topic is uh, method of movement and maximum likelihood right if i'm not wrong okay so i will uh, what i'm going to do uh, okay so let me introduce these two concepts so okay any one of you can tell me what is the method of movement how will i proceed how will i do the so we'll do we'll see the concept and we'll see the one or two examples related to these okay We okay, will define the the moment, moment one, moment two. Mm -hmm. okay. It just involves that we have to take expectation of values, examples. Okay. We'll Depends define moments, moment one, moment, moment two, moment three, and Correct. so on, and equate it to expectation. So Can what it? we have to do? We have to equate the sample moments to what? Distribution moment. Distribution moment. Yeah, kind of two expression for the moments in terms of unknown parameters, right? Two yeah. expression for moments in terms of unknown parameters. Correct. This yes. thing we have to. Depending on the number of. Uh, yeah, number of parameters. Yeah, we have, we have to take the number of moments. Correct, right? correct, correct. Because see. In general, uh, how I'm uh, we have to define. So we define the sample moments like say let's say M K. Okay. So we have let's say capital X one to let's say capital X one. We define this one. So how I can define this moment like this, right? You have read uh, read in the M G F concept, right? First moment, second moment, yeah. correct? Yeah. So yeah. this is something. So okay. So for the one sampling instance, let's say for uh, I have let's say I have one samples this. So I'm so I can uh, write like this, right? So what will the first sample moment? If I'm saying m1 to xn, so then how I should write one upon n summation of xi, right? Yes. This how how will I write the second moment? Xi square. Square summation of one xi upon square. summation of xi square. Yeah. How will I write the kth moment? One by n summation. Okay, and uh, don't worry about uh, there. Will, there won't be more than two parameters. Maximum two will be there. Okay, in this course. So far. Hmm. Okay, so now, so that means, uh, so we have to equate this one in terms of unknown parameters. Means expected value of. Let's say I am assuming the param one parameter. So uh, we have to uh, equate this one. Expected value of the theta. Sir, what is the statement you wrote uh, before? So we have to see what is the procedure uh, for the method of moment estimator. We have to equate the sample moments to the expression for the moments in terms of unknown parameters. Means this sample moment we have to equate with the in terms of unknown parameters. Means this theta will be unknown to us. We have to find out. Okay. With the help of this oh, equation. Okay, suppose I have two parameters. Then what uh, I have to do? You have to take two moments. We have to take the two moments. Okay. So, will it be okay if I will proceed with the examples? Any example? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, great, great. So let's do. Let's assume. Uh, I think Poisson will be okay for everyone. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So suppose I am saying x one. X two, so on, X n. This is something. Uh, these all are I I D with Y n lambda. Okay. Now, tell me. So this is, and I want to estimate the lambda. Correct. This is the question. So this is the one parameter distribution, right? So what we have to do? We have to equate the sample moment to the distribution moment, right? So yeah. what is the distribution moment? Means distribution. What is the expected value of your x? Is the lambda. lambda. What is the sample moment here? Sample moment is uh, m1. I have to see. I have to equate m1 to the expected value of x. This is the procedure, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what is the m1? One upon n summation of xi. And what is the expected value of x? This is the lambda. Yes, sir. So directly, I can say lambda cap is nothing but one upon n. Okay, so let's write down the lambda is nothing but what? This is one upon n, x one plus x two plus so on x n, right? Yes, sir. Right. So what will be the lambda cap? 
so while we are writing in the lambda cap that means we are we are writing in terms of in, in general case okay so you can smart, yeah you can so this is m1 right yeah this is the m1 it's a directly m1 right there is no calculation involved here yeah okay. see we have to equate m1 to the expected value of x we have done expected value of x is directly lambda correct right right correct? Okay, let's do let's do the for the exponential so that uh, it will give you some clear idea about the about after that we'll do some another example. Okay, let's say I'm saying x one, x two, so on, x n. These all are exponential with parameter lambda. So this is the one parameter distribution, right? Now <coughs> what I have to do, I have to equate the sample moment to the population. I mean distribution moment. So what is distribution moment? Expected value of x. So what is the m one? One by lambda. One by lambda. No, no. M one, M one. One by n. One by x. Summation of x i, right? X i, yes. And what is the expected value of x? One by lambda, right? Yes, sir. Correct. So what I can write down the so I can write down the x one plus x two plus so on, x n divided by n as the one by lambda, right? But I have to estimate the lambda, not one by lambda. So what will be the lambda? So n divided by x1, x1 plus x2 plus so on x n right? Yes. So that means yes. what lambda cap will be what n divided by x1 plus x2 x1. plus. Yeah. So we'll do we'll do the some numerical examples. Okay. So can you do normal also, sir? Uh, normal. normal sir. Two parameter. Okay. Yes, so yes. Normal we can do or else if you want so we can proceed with the binomial also. Okay. Sir, normal you do, sir. Okay, normal. Okay, sir. So let's see. So x one, so on x n, is the uh, these all are I I D. Let's say normal mu comma sigma square. These are two parameter distribution, right? Now, yes. So what yes, I have sir. to do? I have to equate the sample moment. I am writing as S M equal to the population moment. I mean distribution moment, right? Yeah. So yes, what sir. I have to do? I have to equate the M one with the expected value of x. First thing, and for the second parameter, I have to do the x, m2 is equal to expected value of x square. X square. Mm, yeah. This is clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Correct. That means in general, what we have to do, we have to equate the m k is equal to expected value of x raised power k. K. Yeah. Means for one parameter, m1 will be expected value of x. For two parameter, m2 will be expected value of x square. This thing is clear yes, to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay, yes. now great. Tell me. What is the M one? Okay, let's uh, do in terms of M one because uh, at the end sir, it will. Sir, is it expected value of x whole square? No, no, expected value of x square, not expected value of x whole square. It's expected value of x square. Okay. Okay. See, M k is what expected value of x raised power k. Okay. Yes. Now sir. this this is clear to all of you. <clears throat> Now tell. Me. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. So this is the M one. What is expected value of x? Mu. 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 Now tell me, this is the M two. What is the expected value of x square? Mu square. No, not mu square. See, can I write down the mu, uh, variance Sigma of x square? Sigma square. Expected value of whole square, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Because this information I know from the initial, correct? Correct. Correct. So yeah. M two variance is the sigma square plus mu square. Yes. Yeah. So far, so good for everyone. Now, yes, tell sir. me, what is the mu? Mu cap is m one. Correct. Yes, correct. Now tell me, if you know the mu, that is what. So what I can write on the sigma square is what? What will be what? M two minus mu square, right? Sigma yes. square will be what? Uh, can I write down the m two minus m one square? Correct. Yes. So sigma will be what? Square root of m two minus m one is square. M one is square. Yes. So sigma is sorry, not sigma. So sigma head will be what? Square root of capital capital m two minus capital m one is square, right? So I have mu cap is equal to m one. So thing is that if you are given the observations, right? So how will you find the estimator for mu? So mu is nothing but m one. So you can find out the with the help of the observations, correct? You can find out the M one is what these things? Yes, correct. And what is the sigma hat? So sigma hat the square root of M two means 
1 upon n uh, let's write down the x1 plus x2 square plus so on xn square divided by n minus of m1 square means x1 plus so on xn divided by n whole square, whole square. it is clear how you can proceed for the with uh, two parameters correct so this estimates may be unbiased uh, that's uh, another thing i think uh, you are uh, <laughs> very interested to know bias should be unbiased. bias should be unbiased and that you are <laughs> okay so this is clear so should i do another example for two parameters or is it okay if you want so i can we can oh, do for yes, the binomial one more binomial yes, sir one more with oh. different distribution okay so let's do for the binomial because binomial has two parameters right yeah yes, so, sir. so what what is the probability of binomial or gamma or geometric what is going to be coming in the paper sir just do that <laughs> okay. Manish, no, 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 you no, wait no. for the end of the session and ask all these questions, Manish. No, 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 no. It's better to come in between, no, rather than wasting a time of ours. You know? No, no, see, see, see. Manish, <laughs> thing is that we are not wasting a time actually. So, basic funda is concept should be clear. If you Correct. know the concept, any type of any distribution is there, or simply I have given you sample observation and asked to find the method of moment, then you can directly do. I will do one example related to whether distribution is not given, but you have to find the method of moment or maximum yeah, likelihood. Yeah. Okay. That is a higher probability. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you got the uh, intuition. Yeah, but now Manish is also a teacher, so he knows how to predict. Okay, is it? Is it right, Manish? Yes, sir. So, which class you are taking? Sorry. I mean, to, uh, which class you are uh, teaching? No, I teach management, sir. Man, oh, great. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so let's do. Okay, so we at the end of this session, we'll do some discussion. Okay. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. So these are two parameters. Okay. So what should be the procedure for this? I have to equate the so m1 to the m1. Mean? Okay. So this is the for the k parameters, right? Yes, sir. So I have two parameters. So I have to do m1 equal to expected value of x as well as m2 equal to expected value of x square, right? E. Excess. Right. So, what is yes, the uh, um, what is the expected value of x for binomial? Np. Np. Yeah. Correct. Np. And uh, for the expected value of x, we the same thing which we have done for the normal. So, variance of x plus expected value of x whole is square. Yes. Correct. N square p square plus one minus. Correct. So, what is the variance? Variance is Np one minus p, right? Correct. Plus. Yes, sir. So I can write down the n square p square, right? P square. Yes, so far, so good for everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now yes, tell yes, me. Yes, sir. Uh, so instead of the see, we have to find at, at the final step, we have to find the p cap and n cap, right? So right. let's do. So can I replace this n p with the m one? Because I have this inequality, right? Correct. Sir. So m one one minus p plus m one square, right? Yes, sir. Correct. So what we can do? M two minus M one square equal to M one one minus p. Correct. Now, so what should M2 be the next step? Minus, M two minus M two minus M one square divided by M. So, so what should be the next? So I can write down the M one p as the M one minus M two plus M one square, right? Correct. If I am not wrong. Okay. Yes. So what is the p? P will be m1 minus m2 plus m1 square divided by m1, right? M1. Yes. So if you write down the p cap, so it will be just uh, simply it will change as in for the general one. So basic funda is so now can you find out the value of p here? P cap because these are the from the samples, right? So, Some observations uh, will be given to you, and you can you can find out this value, right? Yes, from sir. The, how from the sample, sir? Yeah, I, I will take I will take the example. Okay. M one means what, sir? See, Just M one means here, sample. Well, mm -hmm. Okay. We are X one X one X one and X two. Please see see what is your M one? M one is what? Always one upon X1. a summation of X I right? Yeah. Suppose yeah. I have given some observation, let's say ten observation, then you can find the value of M one. 
right. you can find the value of m2 i will take i will take the one example so that it will give you a clear idea about this one okay sir this can also be written as uh, 1 minus m2 plus m1 square by m1 no sir yeah yeah you can write anything you can simplify it no no problem sir okay so initially what we had we got the p cap but uh, we have to find out the for n so if m1 is np so what i can write down n, n is the n yeah. m1 by p so yeah n is equal to m1 by p right yeah so what will be the n cap so so it will be m1 by p cap so if you uh, it, it, you will get uh, it's the m1 divided by m1 minus m2 plus m1 square divided by m1 mm -hmm. so this will be m1 square right correct yes. Right? Yes. so n cap will be m1 square so basic idea is if you have two parameters so just equate the two samples moments to the population moments and uh, if you have one parameter then you can do that sir but why p cap uh, why only why hmm? not use p why we use p cap uh, why so did, where did the n cap come from that p cap m1 upon see p what is your m1 m1 is np right uh -huh. if you know the one uh, value then for the n i can write down the m1 by p or not yes sir yes uh, sir, yes. sir so yes. Okay. No, why use P cap? Can use only P. P cap? And one upon P only. And one upon you have written and one upon P cap. See, I have written this equation in the form of this. Then, if if I want to estimate of n cap, then I will use the value of P cap. Yes. Why? <laughs> okay. See, you have two parameters, right? Correct. I mean, not u sigma square u n and p. You got one parameter. Then, with the help of this one, I can find out the another one or not. Okay. Okay. The simple uh, concept. Okay. Okay. So let me. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hello. I think uh, let me search one uh, activity question, which is the values is given to you. Okay, okay. Let me do. Okay, let's uh, four will be okay for everyone. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, so what is saying here? So question is, uh, see, now here distribution is not given, but method of movement is asking about, right? So you can, uh, I think you are getting the intuition from my side. Okay. So a die is such that probability of getting any number from one to five is theta, correct? A die is rolled ten times and outcomes are these all, correct? okay so now tell me so find the estimate of theta using the method of moments okay now so what is the let's say let's say uh, let's consider the distribution about so what is your x outcome after the rolling the die correct let's i'm yes, defining sir. outcome uh, after outcome rolling of every, every die after rolling the die right now so what will the possible outcomes for getting uh, out uh, the outcomes of the rolling after rolling die 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 6 into 6 correct this is the values of x right now yes yes sir this, see this is i'm talking about the six, uh, this is i'm talking six, about right? the population i mean distribution okay i'm not considering here uh, this samples okay see this is yes, the sir. one sampling instance means if you roll the 10 times you got this outcome but i am considering for the uh, sample okay. one. i mean uh, distribution okay. possible outcomes yeah is saying for 1 to 5 it is theta correct so correct. for what is the probability for each xi this is the theta this is, the theta. Theta. This is yeah. theta this is theta this is theta this is then for 6 what it will be 1 minus 5 minus 5 why 1 minus 5 theta because All the probability should be one. Correct. Correct. So this is the distribution one. Correct. It's right. something like a PMF table you create. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a PMF table. Okay. Right. Means for each xi there are some associated probabilities. Okay. So this is distribution. What are the samples given to me? One sampling instance. That means they are rolling the die ten times, right? Correct. So what yes. are the sampling instance? Can you tell me? Uh, one, one six, six five five. 
वन सिक्स फाइव फाइव फोर डबल सिक्स फोर डबल सिक्स टू थ्री फोर टू थ्री फोर ओके नाउ टेल मी वॉट आई हेव टू डू हेयर ओनली वन पैरामीटर इज देयर राइट दैट मीन्स वॉट आई हेव टू डू आई हेव टू इक्वेर द एम वन इक्वल टू एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स राइट ओके दिस इज दिन मेक इट एज इक्वेशन वन नाउ सी इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन वी नो द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन राइट then we directly write down what is the expected value of x is mu for the binomial we directly uh, wrote expected value of x as np like that okay now tell me what will the expected value of x here we don't know the exact distribution so how i can compute the expected value of 1 x? into theta 1 into theta plus 2 into theta plus 3 into theta 2 theta plus 3 theta plus 4 theta plus 5 theta plus 6 6 1 into 1 minus 5 theta Right, so it will be uh, two, three, five, six. This question, four, I faced a small difficulty understanding the theta. Whether it is uh, combined for one, two, five together, they mean theta, or individually they mean theta. From the question, it was no, not no, clear. No, 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 no. Question is saying probability of getting probability any of getting number any from number one to five. Any number, any number from five. one to five means shall I write as probability of one comma two, three, four? Five together is theta. Then my six will become minus theta. Okay, so it's saying so that was one no. uh, difference. No, no, it's, a, it's no, no. It's a equal uh, something equally likely means probability of getting mm -hmm. any number uh, from one to five means. Yeah, I understand. Getting, I understand mm -hmm. now, but there is a possibility of confusion. That's what I. No, say. no, no, no. Don't 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 worry about this. Okay. okay. In exam, uh, things will be clear. So now see. Are you getting the idea? Here? What I'm trying to say, sometimes it's not like distribution will be given. Something will be given to you. You have to find out the expected value, right? I mean, are you get this idea is clear? This agenda is clear to all of you? Yeah, for the general uh, ex term, expected value of x. There's a general notation for this is the random value xi multiplied by its probability. Hmm. So this is for the discrete. If suppose okay, 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 let's do this one. We'll do one on uh, another one. Okay, so what it will be? Three to five, six, four, six ten. Six minus fifteen. Six minus fifteen theta. So fifteen theta plus six minus thirty theta. So sixty minus fifteen theta, right? This is the expected value of x. Now what I have to do? I have to equate the m one equal to expected value of x. X. Correct. correct? So what is the m one? Let's write down the m one. So far at the end we will do. So expected value of x is six minus fifteen theta. Yeah. So fifteen theta will be what? Six minus m one. Correct. So theta will be what? Six minus m one by fifteen. Correct. So theta cap will be what? Six minus capital m one by. 15. Capital m one by fifteen. So what is this m one? This is m one. This m one nothing but one upon n summation of x size, right? Correct. Yes, sir. So that means you have to find the m one from the this. You have to add all these and divide by n. So what you do? That is two point two. Uh, so 2.2 is okay. I'm proceeding. 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2. 4.2. It's a yeah. It's a 42, right? 42 divided by 10. Okay. Yes, sir. So it's a 6 minus 4.2 divided by 15. So I will get uh, 0.12. Uh, 0.12, right? So now you got the idea. How you can proceed? Yes, sir. If distribution is given, you can directly compute the expected value of x. Yes, you can do. Sir, one continuous one can you try? Okay, okay. Continuous. Sir, there was one example. Okay, yeah, this one. Okay. Second. Ah, uh, second one. So hmm. f x is one plus theta x divided by two. Uh, sir, do you have any question on the question bank, sir? <coughs> the previous question bank. Ah, uh, sir, can you repeat? Do you have any question of continuous from the previous question paper, sir? I I actually I did not check the previous question bank. No, sir, yeah, no, so sir. we are planning. Yeah, one information. I we are planning to conduct one session in which uh, we will solve the previous end term questions. So why was the all the session we have done this, sir? Sir, all these sessions you put it in the calendar, sir, because yeah, we we are. It's plan, not it's not in the plan our uh, work also. That's the reason. Uh, sir, sorry. where is the question bank? Not showing on the calendar. Yeah, it's not in the calendar. We are thinking uh, to conduct before the mock session. Okay, so maybe after this Sunday we'll conduct one session for this. Okay. Okay. Because I was saying because everybody. Actually, if you notice, I think you better say actually. Sorry. 
if you advancely notify it will be better yeah 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 so what we are uh, okay we'll update in the calendar and we'll send the announcement also okay so by sunday i think uh, we'll okay. you know okay we'll uh, plan we'll see whether slot which slots are free because in next week uh, all the revision session is going to happen right so accordingly we'll plan and uh, we'll update you don't worry about that okay. so these are the iid of x right and uh, pdf is given Excuse to me, us sir. yes the question banks are updated there uh, I think there is some site. Uh, I think last time Amruta or someone else has pasted on the chat. If uh, it's possible, then uh, they can. There are multiple sites. Corbett House site has also heard. Okay. So you can check. I from think there. Raja Lakshmi has shared this time. Last okay, Raja Lakshmi. Okay. Correct, Raja Lakshmi. Okay, so. Yeah, so you can check. Okay, I will I will check also. It's there and we'll update. Yeah. I'll ping the, ping the link now. Okay, okay. Thanks, thanks. So here uh, we have to find the estimate of the theta, right? So what we have to do? We have to equate the M1 is equal to expected value of X, right? But I don't know expected value of X, right? So what you have to do? You have to find out the expected value of X, right? How I can do? X in Integration of X into Fx dx, right? Minus 1 to 1. So minus 1 to 1 x into fx is 1 plus theta x divided by 2 dx okay so what it will be it will be 1 by 2 so should i do the integration or will you no, 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 yes, huh? yes, yes, sorry we'll do it sir we'll do okay so it will be theta x square dx okay so after that uh, you will get some equation in terms of theta because x will right. be replaced with the this 1 minus 1 right correct Okay, so, so let's suppose you are getting some theta by 2 or something. So I may okay, let's do it x square by 2 plus theta into x cube by 3. So it will be 1 by 2 plus uh, theta by 3 minus so 1 by 2 will get cancel out. Theta cancel by out. So 1 by 2, 2 theta. Okay, so theta by 3. Right. Theta by 3 you will get, okay. I'm not doing doing this one. I think I think if I'm not wrong, theta by three will be good answer. Okay. So expected value of x is, is the theta by three. Okay. So what we have to do? I have to equate m1 is equal to expected value of x, right? So that means m1 is equal to theta by three. So what it will be? Theta is equal to three m1. Correct? Yeah. So theta cap will is, is equal to uh, it will be three times of m1. So it will be three times of x1 plus so on xn by and is there any uh, option like this yes sir yeah second one yeah i think that is theta by three. okay so you got the idea to solve the question yes sir okay everyone is it clear basically to all we have to yes, sir. create uh, from minus one to one hmm. and then then what is the trick sir? see you have to equate the sample moment to the equal to the population moment right distribution moment so that expected value of x or expected value of x is where you have to find out the from the distribution and m values of m1 m2 you can find out the from the sample observations which will be given to you okay okay so next topic is what maximum likelihood maximum likelihood okay so what is the maximum likelihood what uh, we are doing in case of maximum likelihood Anybody? We are taking the product of uh, density function and uh, uh, taking maximum using the logs and then logs, differentiating right? it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. maximizing the likelihood function is same as the maximizing the log likelihood, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So maximum likelihood function, this is called. So will it be okay if I will do the example? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's do the one example uh, for the discrete one. After that, I will proceed for the. Uh, I will take the some example for the distribution. Okay. I mean, how you will do the? Okay, so what is the procedure for finding the maximum likelihood? Suppose I have uh, sample. Let's say x one, x two, x n. Okay. I mean, okay. Let's define these all things. Suppose I'm saying uh, x one. X2, XNR, IID, 
x okay with the, some parameters let's say theta 1 theta 2 and all this i mean there are something parameters now so what is the likelihood for x1 x2 xn so how uh, i uh, i have to proceed it's nothing but product of the individual pdfs right or pmf correct for each theta this is the something we are uh, procedure of finding the likelihood so we have to maximize so maximize means we have to find the derivative or uh, i mean we have to do the derivation with respect to that parameter and we have to equate with zero we'll get the maximum right maximum value this is something we are doing in mathematics right correct i mean is it, are you getting the idea yes sir okay. now tell me so okay uh, let me do one thing okay let me take one example we can do for the both one huh? so i think it's in 9.8 yeah 9.8 uh, okay so first example will be okay for everyone by this example we'll see the both mme and uh, maximum likelihood okay yes sir yes okay oh great so this is the something information is uh, 0 1 2 uh, 3 anyone can tell me the values uh, 0 1 2 and 3 fx is uh, 2p by 3 and p by 3 and 2 1 minus p by 3 and 1 minus p by 3 okay this is something so we'll do should we do the method of moment first yes, okay. okay so tell me uh, what is the expected value of x so this is the one parameter right because only p is there correct yes sir so yes sir what is the expected value of x how will you find zero into p by 3 plus correct zero into 2 p by 3 plus plus one into p by 3 p by 3 plus yes, 2 sir. into uh, so 2 into 2 1 minus two p by, by 3 plus yes, 3 sir. into 1 minus p by 3 right yes sir yes sir. So what it will be it will be p and uh, let's say p plus 4 minus 2p plus 3 minus 3p divided by 3 right yes sir so it will be 4377 uh minus four, four, five. no it's a 4 p right four plus 4 p yeah so minus yeah. 6p divided by 3, right? This is the expected yes, value sir. of x. So what we have to do? We have to equate m1 to the expected value of x, right? Yes, sir. So what it will be? m1 equal to 7 minus 6p divided by 3. Yes, sir. That means what? 3 times of m1 equal to 7 minus 6p. Mm. That means what? Yes, uh, P 3 m1 3 minus, minus 7 divided by 6 no not yes, 6 uh, equal to minus p right so p will be what divided by minus 6 so p will be what 7, 7 minus 3 m1 divided yes. by 6 right yes sir so for the p hat what it will be 7 minus 3 times of capital m1 divided by 6 so what is the capital m1 so samples we have given right in the questions so samples yes, are 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 0, 2, 1. So you have to take the average of these all things. Correct yes, or sir. not? So what it will be? It will be, I think, 4, 2, 6, 3, 9, 2, 11, 15, 12, 15, 15 divided by 10. That means 1.5, right? Yes, so sir. M1 is 1.5. So 7 minus 3, 1.5 divided by 6, right? 7 minus 4.5 by 6. So 7 minus 4.5 divided by 6, that means 2.5 divided by 6. So just find out the value of this. We can cross check also. Right? Yeah. So this is the method of moment. So this is clear for everyone? Yes, sir. sir what is the no. difference between uh, that uh, small capital M1 and small M1? See, small M means uh, it's just for one sampling instance, for one sample observation, right? Capital means uh, at the end we are considering in general. That's all. You can uh, write or you can directly put the value of sample observation. So, okay, no need to worry about this. Okay, so what are the given samples to us? Uh, three zero one two three. Anyone can tell me three zero one two three. 
Uh, sir, what did you say about small m and capital M? See, small m is just for one particular sampling instance, right? Let's say here one particular sampling instance, this one, right? These are one particular sampling instance. Hmm. Okay. And capital means uh, we are considering in in general. Okay. okay. But sir, at the end you write capital M and then write this particular instance. See, see. But we have to consider for this sampling instance also. Okay. So that's I'm writing for in general as we have done for the in general case also. Okay. In general case also, you can uh, see that see. If you are estimating the value, that means uh, we are writing for the random variables. This is for one sampling instance, mm -hmm. right? If I'm writing in terms of capital, that means there can be a lot of sampling instance. But for that particular sampling instance, which uh, which one is given here? This is the one particular uh, sampling. So this is the given for this. You have to estimate the parameter. This sampling instance can be changed also. Okay. okay so whenever mm -hmm. we are talking abstract. So in extra, abstract yeah. terms, we are using the small one. Yeah, yeah. We are representing all different kind of samplings, and using the actual values, we are using the capital one. Correct. So, what is the likelihood? Okay, so be clear with this. Such type of question is important. Okay. So, I think who was? Uh, I think you are getting idea. Okay. So, what will be maximum likelihood? Tell me, how should I proceed here from where? So, the product of all the probabilities for each product type. of all the probabilities. But mm. we we have to be clear with for the zero, two p by three is there, right? Let me write down the all the probabilities. Uh, we'll proceed. So for the zero, is the two p by three? Yes. For one, p by three, right? P by three. Yes, sir. For two. Two into one, one minus, minus p, p by three, three and for three, one minus p by three. One minus so p. So this by kind of questions, uh, it's something important for your exams. So what is the likelihood? One, my, one minus one minus p by three no. into. So we have to see these all are the fsi. These all are a f fsi, right? Yes. yes. So what we have to do? So with the help of these samples, what we have to do? So two p by three. Hmm. Power two. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Sir, yes. Why power two? Because zero is occurring two twice. Times. Okay. Twice, right? Right. Right. Okay. Okay. So be clear with these sort of questions because uh, I'm saying again important. That means uh, you can expect my intuition. I can't say directly anything, but yeah. Now. Yeah. Please note it down. Such a question can come. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's why right. <laughs> uh, I'm making as double star. Okay. <laughs> yes. So sir. let me. Uh, okay, so tell me. Uh, p by three. So p by three for what? Q? Three. Three. Why? Because one is occurring three times, right? Yeah. Three times. Okay. And uh, what about two one minus p divided three by three? Times. Three, three, three times. Okay. Three, three times. times so. And for yes, so. three? It's two times. Two times. Now, if you add these powers, you will get the total number of samples, right? Yes, this is something sir. we are doing in case of binomial, uh, Bernoulli, right? In Bernoulli, we will get for only two. I mean, p power, uh, let's say, uh, w, w will be number of one and one minus p raised to n minus w, n minus number two. of zero. But right. here you yes, have sir. three values, zero, one, two, three, I mean, four values, right? Yes, sir. So now what should be the next step? One, uh, all the okay, let's, let's, simplify, let's simplify, let's simplify it. So we will get. Two raised power, I think two two five, right? And the p raised power is square here, cube here, so p raised power mm, five, five yeah. and one minus p raised power five also, right? Five. Yes. And yes. divided by three raised power ten, if I'm not wrong. Okay, just uh, let me correct this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now. Yes, sir, correct. So yes. what should be the next step? Next step, we have to take the log, right? So yeah. log of two raised power five, p raised power five, one minus p raised power five. Divided by three raised to ten, so, right? Uh, what is the logic of taking log? Shall see, we log reduce is, this power? Make our life easier. Uh, log because see, in mathematics, if you know, if you are aware about, see, if if I'm maxim uh, maximizing the likelihood function, so this is same as the maximizing the log log of that function. 
correct logarithmic of that one right so if you take the log so it's a, one thing it's a simplify our e expression also and it's the same as if you are uh, ex uh, maximizing the log and uh, maximizing the likelihood okay so what we will get we will get log of 2 raised power 5 divided by 3 raised power 10 right plus log of p raised power 5 can i write down plus log of 1 minus p raised power 5 this is okay for everyone yes, yes. sir okay so now what so tell me uh, let me write down one step so this is a log of 2 raised power 5 divided by 3 raised power 10 so this will be 5 times of log of p yes plus yes. 5 times of log of 1 minus 1 minus p, p. yes right? sir so this is the log of L. So next step is we have to find the estimate of P. Then what we have to do? We have to we can eliminate the first term. Sorry. Differentiate. So we have to differentiate with respect to P, right? So yes, log sir. of it will be zero differentiation because this Not is the constant, sir. right? Plus yeah. five by P. Yes, yeah. sir. Plus five by one minus, minus five by P one by P minus one. Yes. Okay. One. This is we have to equate as. Zero. zero so what will be the next step so next step is something uh, 5 by p minus 5 by 1, one minus p will be zero. zero yes so what will be the next step so can i write on the 5 times of 1 minus p minus 5 of 5 times p divided by p into 1 minus p will be zero yes, yes. sir so what will be the next step 5 yes. times yes. minus 5p yes. minus 5p equal to zero Yes. yes, sir. So 5 minus 10 times p equal to 1 by 2. 0. So 5 equal to 10 times p. So p yes, is sir. the 5 by half. 10. So p half. cap is the nothing but half, which is equal to 0.5. Okay. So will yes, you sir. able to do such type of questions? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Do continuous Sorry? Yes, sir. Sorry? Please scroll a little bit up, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Hang on, hang on, sir. Are you taking the screenshot? No. Okay. Sir, we are trying to understand the uh -huh. differential of L by dP zero. Yes, constant zero. Five by p plus mm -hmm. five upon one minus p. And what does this minus, sir? Minus one. Because see, one, we have to differentiate one minus p again, right? Yeah. It's not directly p. Okay. Okay. If you differentiate 1 minus 3, you will get minus 1. Okay. Chain rule. Okay. Okay, so. Sir, actually, this step only, I also do a lot of mistakes, sir. This uh, little hint or anything will be given, sir. This. Uh, no, I don't think any... it will be given. Because, uh, this is something also. simple differentiation, right? It's like differentiate log first, then hmm. differentiate log, okay, then under whatever is in the inner Chain. bracket, correct, then correct. differentiate that. And if there is any other bracket, then differentiate that and so correct, on. Correct, correct. Yeah. That is sir, hmm? sir, sir, yeah. sir, if hmm? we differentiate and equate to zero, it could be both minimum and maximum, sir. Okay, so what you have to do, you know, you have to do the uh, second derivative, then if it's less than zero, then okay. Yes, sir. So you, if you check, you will get the maximum value. Don't worry about this. So an exam we need not find no no, no 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 just sir hmm? uh, i just want one thing hmm? can you just uh, illustrate it for a continuous question because okay, I, okay. I will come to that i will I struggled let me, let me... for ml in continuous yeah, yeah i will i will come to that uh, let me do this one one again uh, for this bit i will come to that okay? sir, yeah. yeah i will I, I will come to that let me finish this one so okay okay so i'm just i will do just for the maximum likelihood i'm not going to do the method moments for now so saying a discrete random variable x takes the value one with unknown probability p and two with probability one minus p that means what we have information x is taking two value one and two one with probability p and two with probability one minus p right and saying 100 iid samples of x are collected such that one occurs 55 times in the samples means 100 samples are collected okay such that one occurs 55 times that means one you got a sample like this this is the 55 times you got once 
and remaining 45 times you got the 2 that is the meaning correct yes sir am right yes yes no. yes yes what is the likelihood will yes, be sir. P, i P equal to 1 2 and miss 100 fx i right so what we have to do that means what p raised to power 55 55 yeah, 1 minus p raised to power 45. 1 minus p raised to power 45. The same thing you can do for the Bernoulli. I mean, it's 0, 1 case also. I mean, the same thing uh, is here. Value is 1 and 2. It can be 0 and 1, anything, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, what we have to do? What, next step is we have to take the log. Five log p. So, log of p raised to power 55 into 1 minus p raised to power 45. So, you know log of a into b is nothing but log of a plus log of b, right? Yes, yes. So, it will be log of p raised to 55 plus log of 1 minus p raised to 45, right? So it will be 55 times log of p plus 45 times log of 1 minus p, right? Am I right here? No. Yes, sir. What we have to do? We have to differentiate with respect to yes, p. So it will be 55 divided by p, p. plus 45 divided by 1 minus p. If you get 1. 1 minus p, I will get 1 minus 1. This would be equal to 0. zero. zero. Right? So what yes, will sir. be the next step? So next step will be 55 divided by p minus 45 divided by 1 minus one p minus equal to p. 0. Mm -hmm. Now, so 55, 1 minus p minus, minus 45 p. Equal to zero? Yes, sir. There can be an easier way to think about this. Just take minus to the other side, then cancel. Yeah, that's, it. Yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah. But I'm just doing the step by step so that uh, we don't get any. So we'll get 55 minus 100 times P, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so what is the P? P is nothing but, I mean, 100 P is the 55. So P cap will be 0. Point Okay. Five, five. You got the idea how we can proceed the this such type of question? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. yes. So I'm not going to do for the any distribution. I will take one uh, example, another example. Will that be okay? Yes, sir. Okay. I mean, basic fund is you have to uh, do the multiplication. You have to do the product of each FXI, right? Any complicated differentiation will come, sir. Uh, Yes, sir. Actually, uh, I said, I said, uh, okay, okay. I said, I make it as two star, right? Yeah, yeah. This is... <laughs> okay. So don't worry about the too much complicated of the ones. Okay. okay. I mean, there will be some. Have you made two star? Yes. Hmm? Sir, two star value you made is only for uh, discrete, no, sir. What is the... Yeah, this is for the discrete one. So, if you want, I can take the example of a continuous. Uh, you please, can take. Uh, yeah, please. No, no, sir. Like mm -hmm. Product two. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, one, 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 one by one, one by one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, please go ahead. Please take a two and an example for continuous. Means continuous is like it is not coming intuitively, like in this case. Mm -hmm. So this ML thing, uh, please show it in uh, continuous variable as well. Okay, so exponential will be okay. Yeah, that's also fine, sir. That's also fine, everyone. Yeah, yes, yes sir. you find it in focus, sir. Yes. Okay. Okay. Or uh, should we go by by any example? Sir, any sir, which is relevant to uh, do, sir? Which is a very uh, uh, Mm -hmm. Relevant only you take, sir. Okay, so relevant yes. is okay. So let me give you one example for the exponential one, the uh, for which is the continuous. After that, we'll see. Okay, because uh, we have to cover the week ten also. Okay, so let's let's do this one. Okay, so for the exponential, what is the uh, criteria? This suppose these are all are iid exponential with parameter lambda, right? Okay. Yes. So what is the fx? Lambda into e raised to minus lambda x, right? Where right. your x should be something greater than zero, lambda should be positive and all this. Now, if I want to find the likelihood estimate of the parameter lambda, then what I have to do? L should be product of i to n fx i, right? 
so yes. what you have to do you have to produce the your pdfs means can i write down these things product of i to n lambda e raised to the minus lambda times of xi yes sir that means what lambda into e raised to the minus lambda x1 one time lambda into e raised to the minus lambda times of x2 so on lambda And times e raised to the minus lambda times of xn it is clear yes, now yes sir so lambda is for n i can write down yes sir next step is e raised to the minus lambda type x1 into e raised to the minus lambda x2 so on e raised to the minus lambda xn so can no. i add the powers yes sir so <laughs> lambda <laughs> times of <laughs> i'm writing on in general so lambda times of x i x i right this yeah. is the likelihood so if you take the log so log of l will be what log of lambda is for n plus log of e raised to the minus lambda times mm -hmm. summation of xi right mm -hmm. it will be n times n log lambda, lambda. N log lambda yes sir plus minus lambda minus of lambda e raised, uh, not e uh, summation of xi right yes sir because log of e raised to the x is nothing but x right yes yeah so this will be n log lambda minus lambda summation of xi right yeah what i have to do I have differentiate, to differentiate with respect to zero, zero uh, with respect to lambda. lambda. So it will be n by lambda, lambda minus yes, differentiation of lambda will be one. So summation of x i will be zero, right? I mean I have to equate the zero, right? Yes, sir. So it will be n by lambda equal to summation of x i. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So n by summation of x i is what? Lambda. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is the same lambda cap maximum likelihood what? N by summation of x i that means uh, x one plus Excellent, right? Yes. The sir. same thing we got in case of method of moments. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So you can do for the any continuous. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. So I think sir, week nine is covered. If I'm not wrong, all the concepts. Sir, here we know that uh, method and moment and maximum likelihood of exponential is equal. So no need of calculation. We try to say. Who need to? Okay, so for some distribution, it it may be different. But sir, uh, we see the previous question, previous paper where this type of question is coming, mm -hmm. and uh, they ask the method and moment and uh, maximum likelihood both. But it's not always same. See, for this example, your p cap was point five. Okay, forget about this. Let's do this one. Ah, uh, this one. Okay, so what was p cap for the method of moment? 2.5 divided by 6 is what? Not I'm, I'm not asking about this. I'm asking uh, same question. Same question. They ask the method and moment and method see, maximum likelihood. What I'm trying to say, you you are saying, see in that case, uh, if you if you are aware, method of moments and maximum likelihood is same, then mm -hmm. you can directly write. Mm -hmm. But it's not true for all yes moments. yes yes not okay true. so here p cap is different that, um, because it's the something 0.42 the years samples something. are different yeah 0.41 no, no. if you, even if you take the same sample mm -hmm. there was one question i have done for the maximum likelihood and method of moments right yeah i think the 0.5 and 0.55 where is this one this one no i have done the same so uh, You wrote that two star that. Okay, two star. <laughs> that <laughs> question. Oh, uh, one second, one second, one second, one second. I will find out the. Did I miss three stars? Daniel and. Uh, okay, okay, Atish. For this one, what is the maximum likelihood? This is point uh, five. Okay, uh, if you compute the, uh, I think we have done for the method of moments also, right? Mm -hmm. yes, so yes, for the same yeah for the same sample we have done this one so what is the peak up here peak up is something 0.42 if i am not wrong 0.21 okay yeah so but here peak up is 0.42 but uh, maximum likelihood you are getting 0.5 right so these two are different right it's not true always you will get the same correct okay so should we move to the week 10 yes sir, yes, sir. Okay. sir in summary for week 9 almost all the concept will come sir like that only Yes, yes, yeah. Mm, you are, mm, uh, you okay. guys are talking about one two point. point. Yeah, yeah. Okay, from mm -hmm. week nine and ten. Sorry. I heard. Did I heard that 
there was some three star question also been discussed three star means uh, this tech kind of question is something important okay i will share the slides i will upload the these slides in the uh, immediately you share sir okay it means after the session immediately yeah, yeah after the session i will share okay okay so we have to proceed with this so let me just give me two minutes i will come back uh, let me connect my charger i mean laptop to charging charging point okay just give me two minutes after two minutes we will start okay Meanwhile, for week 11 and 12, any speedy way of 2020 format, anything is there? Any why any sessions which we can quickly grasp? I think week 11 and 12 there is understanding of concept. That's and all the formulas are given in the. examination no no that's what uh, any particular uh, on uh, online session if we refer uh, will that be sufficient like that anything is there yes yes we will have next revision session right mm. that is wednesday no that is another sunday day. i think sunday it's on sunday oh okay that's good okay sunday evening six o'clock Ah, Sunday, Sunday. Ah, it's on Sunday. Have you not started so far, Devendra and Dr. Krishna ji? No, no, I have not uh, yet come out of tenth uh, itself. That's great. Most vocal in our class, I have noticed. Uh, Mr. Mohan Raj, Raju Lakshmi ji, Prasanta, and then uh, I call them dedicated. Uh. Very, very dedicated. Oh, yeah. Uh, hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's start about week ten. Okay. So so far we have done some. Method of movement, maximum likelihood. So, what are the concepts for the week ten? Prior and uh, that's the Bayesian. Sorry. Posterior. Posterior. Okay, so that means so see Bayesian estimator basically, right? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, just a minute. Let me share my screen. <clears throat> okay, so what is the Bayesian estimator actually? How did you find that estimator? Bayes theorem, sir. Bayes theorem, right? With the help of Bayes theorem. Uh, but normally we are trying to do some likelihood is uh, proportional to. I am not sharing the. I I have not shared the screen so far. Sir, so in Bayesian problems, I have hmm? mostly noticed that the beta distribution comes up again and again i mean it's not uh, memorized like this beta will come beta will come okay so you have to just uh, go with the procedures posterior okay. is proportional to yeah, posterior is proportional to likelihood times prior because in bayes theorem we are doing the same thing right okay why proportion why we are not equating the all the things There are some constant terms <laughs> which we are not uh, prefer prefer to consider, right? Yes. Yeah, that's not playing uh, too much role actually. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's start about the Bayesian. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So you know the okay. So don't worry about the uh, like the mean of the. Uh, what is the mean? The screen is not visible, sir. Yeah, yeah I, I have not shared so far. I will okay. share. Yeah. Okay. So, but uh, you have to find. Uh, you have to pro proceed with the procedure. Means likelihood times prior. Okay. Okay. Let me share my screen. Uh, is my screen visible to all of you? Yes, sir. 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 Yes
yes sir oh, okay oh yes, great sir. great so what we are doing in case of bayes just tell me in terms of probabilities i mean uh, let's say uh, suppose these are this is the sample space okay and there are let's say some uh, events uh, let's say f1 uh, this is the f2 and uh, let's say fk and there is one event e okay so suppose i am i'm interested to find out the what is the probability for uh, f1 given e so how will i proceed probability of e given f1 into probability of probability of e probability of f1 if i'm writing wrong no so what is the probability of e right now yes so this is the constant value I mean, constant value. This is something. Uh, the, it it not depend on the f f i's right at the end, right? And, okay. So this is the likelihood. This is called something likelihood, right? Okay. Let me let me talk. Okay. This is the base theorem, right? This is the base theorem. Okay. This is the base theorem. Let's uh, uh, talk in terms of samples. That will give you a clear idea, actually. So let's. Uh, so what is the funda? So suppose I have x one, x two, so on, x n. These all are following, let's say I A D X, and this X has some parameter, let's say capital theta. Okay, I'm saying prior distribution of theta. This theta is given as, uh, let's say some distribution. It's uh, this is the one distribution of. I mean this this is the one. It can be beta, gamma, anything can. It, it can be anything, right? Now. Suppose samples are given. One sampling instance is given. Small x one, small x two, or small up to small x n. Okay. Now, so Bayes rule says this is the posterior. Okay, and this is the something prior, and this is the likelihood, right? So what we have to do? It's called posterior. So what is posterior sir, here? Posterior means uh, what you have to find out, right? Okay. Okay. So this is the likelihood. So it's this, like this is some uh, see, uh, this is some prior information. Means prior information about your theta will be given to you, correct? And you uh, prior information is probability of e and the probability of f one, correct? Yeah, yeah. This is called something. No, no. Prior is this f one. Oh, prior is only f one. Yeah. Then prior uh, e is your uh, constant. See, this is something for uh, normalization. Denominator. Okay. Okay. That's why we are writing the proportional. We are not considering the uh, that normalization thing, right? Mm. Okay. So now this is something to procedure to find out the base. I mean base uh, Bayesian estimator. Okay. We'll do we'll do the examples that will give you a clear idea. So let me proceed with the sam discrete and we'll do some uh, examples for the continuous also. Okay. Okay, right. so Bar Bernoulli will be okay. Is there? Yeah. Okay, so is there any example from the? Okay, let me let me check the activity because uh, that will be okay for also. So it's activity ten point one, right? Yeah, ten point one. So first example because some samples are given to you, and uh, now. So can you tell me the values? Five I ID samples one one zero one zero from Bernoulli. Okay. So first question is I have five I ID samples, right? Hmm. One one zero one zero from Bernoulli P, hmm. right? Now it says P is following uniform point three point seven, correct? Hmm. That means what? This parameter have some distribution. See what we have done so far. We have considered theta as a constant, right? Parameters value, but I am considering here theta as a random variable which has some distribution. Okay. Hmm. This is the funda basically. So by this information, we have to find out the estimator of that one p, right? So this is called the prior information. I mean, I'm saying this sample is following Bernoulli p, but I'm saying I have some prior information. This parameter is following uniform with 0.3 and 0.7. This thing is clear to you, right? Right. Now, 
this is the one sample is given to me now what we have to do to find the we have to do so it says it may take 0.3 or it may take 0.7, 0.7. p p can take any one right right this is so what we do we have to do for the base rule so in case of base rule can i take like this what is the probability of p is equal to 0.3 given that sample correct yeah okay yes. so this is the same as probability of s given p is equal to 0.3 into probability of p is equal to 0.3 right yeah divide by probability of s this is same as the base rule yes sir yes are you getting the probability of the sample yeah yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see see this probability of e this probability of e i can find out by the law of total probability hmm how we can find the p of e p of me when e will occur that means E intersection F one plus probability of E intersection F two, right? Yes, sir. Right. So I'm taking just two, okay, for its simplicity. So can I write down this multiplication rule by the multiplication rule? Probability of E given F one into e. probability of F one F one yeah. plus probability of E given F two into probability of F two, right? Yes, okay. Now here F one means prior, right? So prior means point three. And point seven, right? Mm -hmm. So this P of S, I can write. I, I now let me write down. That I think after that uh, you will get some clear idea. Okay. So what I can write down the for the okay. So when I will get the P of S means I will get P of S when P is the point three into probability of P is the point three, right? In Plus the there is one possibility when P is the point seven. Into probability of p is equal to point seven, right or not? Yes. Yes. Correct. Yes. yes. Now, so thing is that so what is this? Is saying what is the probability of sample when p is the point three? Means and what are the samples? One one zero one zero. Point three to the power cube. We have samples one one zero one zero. That means p is taking point three. It it times. is given information for the sample, so it's a it's nothing but point three raised power three, correct? Yes. Why? Because uh, one is occurring two uh, three times, right? So for the zero, it will be point seven raised power two. Yes. And what is the probability of this? Zero point five. Zero point five. Zero point five. Correct. Very good. Okay. Now come to so the. So this point I am not clear, sir. Sorry, this sorry, point sorry. three. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you. So what's given? This p is given as point three. Okay, okay. For your example, suppose I'm saying I have samples one one zero one zero and for one probability is p for zero one minus p. Then how will you write for the likelihood? I will write p raised power q one minus p raised power square. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Binomial. 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 But thing is that okay. Bernoulli. But thing is that I'm saying p is the point three. Okay. Okay, sir. Clear, sir. Clear. Yeah? Okay. So let me erase these all things. Now, tell me about the denominator. Should we do the denominator, or uh, we can left out also because uh, for mode not required. For Better mode is not. Okay, not let's compare the. Okay, okay. Let's let's uh, let's write down. Okay, so what it will be? It will be the same thing. The same thing plus plus what? Uh, Plus, 0. Uh, 0. 0.7 uh, 0. Cube, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Into 0.5. So if you see clearly, uh, I think uh, this 0.5 will get cancelled out. Yes. And 0.3 raised power 0.31 uh, two times two, and 0.7. Two, two, yes. See, I mean, see, let's write down. So 0.7 is square. So from the denominator, what I can take common? Point three is square, point seven is square, right? Yes. Sir. So I will get point three plus point seven. It is one. So this will get cancelled out. This is the nothing but. So at the end, I will get point three, right? Point three. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now same thing. If I if I want to do, what is the probability? P will take point seven for the given sample. Okay. The same procedure I can do. Yes. So it will be probability of. S given p is equal to point seven into probability of p is equal to point seven divided by probability of S, right? Yes. Now, 
so this will be what 0.7 raised power cube into 0.3 square and for this why i am taking 0.5 because p is the uniform point uh, with the value of 0.3 and 0.7 right so it will be probability will be 0 0.5 0.5 yes. correct so in the denominator i will get the this thing again 0.7 yes and 0.5 will get cancel out right so i will get 0.3 square 0.7 square right so if you see here uh, i will get 0.7 right so in the question it will be clearly mentioned whether you have to find the posterior mod or posterior meaning so if you want uh, find the posterior mod so what what is the mod here this one is the greater right correct yes, yes. so what will be the p cap bgn 0.7 correct okay yes. what will the posterior mean it is uh, uh, the value into the probability value in the probability right that means mean right so what is the value let's write down the clearly what is the value so p is taking uniform two value 0 0.3 0 0.7 right yes so 0.3 into what is the probability p will take 0.3 for the given sample plus 0.7 into probability p will 0.7 and for the given sample right so 0.3 this value we have computed as 0.3 right okay okay plus 7 and this value we have computed as a 0.7 right this thing correct right so what value i mean you can not the uh, uniform half so it is 0.3 that is the hmm? we should we should not take the uniform half correct no we should take no no we are not so no no it's not uh, only probability of p is equal to 0.3 it's a, for the given s so for the given s we have computed as 0.3 no that is that is clear sir that is clear mm -hmm. the another 0.3 that we we are not taking the uniform half Uh, not that term. no no it's not probability it's the value so that right. is the half is the prior information right prior information Correct. prior information no, no. my parameter is following uniform with 0.3 0.7 okay so prior prior value we have to take not the okay. yes prior value right. because see if right. you have computed the posterior then what is the probability of p is equal to 0.3 here you have to use the 0.5 Ah, which means what, is, sir? Which means what? There are two values, point three and point zero, which is why it is coming point five. Is that what you mean? Yes. If I'm saying uh, x is following mm -hmm. uniform one to n, then what is the probability of uh, x equal to one? It's the one by n, right? Correct. Had it been three or four, then I mean three, then it would have been different. One by three. Hmm. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's do for uh, something. Uh, binomial. In sir, hmm? sir, we we will be able to find the uh, total probability only for discrete, sir, for continuous. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Because see, thing is that here you see for the computation of mean you need to compute, but for the mod you can directly compare, right? Hmm. Yes, sir. For, mod, okay. for the mod, you can directly compare. Okay. Point seven is taking higher value. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, mean we cannot find for continuous distribution. Mm -hmm. So for the Bernoulli and our things, should I do? Okay, let me do one in general by the definition. After that, uh, we'll do uh, some question. Okay. 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 And uh, don't worry about the distribution and expectation. uh all the distributions will be provided to you with pmf pdf uh, cdf with expected value and variance and all things but uh, uh this information i mean you have to compute this one i mean this procedure you have to do by your own posterior is uh, uh proportional to the likelihood into prior i mean you have to do and uh, you have to find out the what is the prior distribution and accordingly just check the formula sheet and uh, from there you can find out the posterior mean this thing is clear yes sir no yes, sir we can explain with an example yeah i will explain with example i'm just saying uh, uh, it will not be provided like what for what prior what is the posterior like that okay you have to find out okay that is the something okay 
hopefully after seeing the example it will be clear yeah that will be clear so let me take one uh, general example so i'm saying uh, let's say x1 x2 so on xn is following let's say bernoulli let's say id bernoulli p okay now i'm saying this parameter p has prior distribution let's say uniform distribution okay zero uh, one okay this is the continuous okay, okay. now so let's say one some samples is given to you some sampling instance is uh, let's say given to you so question is uh, you have to find the posterior density correct so to find the posterior density so posterior is what is proportional to likelihood times prior correct hmm. correct so what is the likelihood likelihood means what what is the probability x will be x1 x will be x2 so on x will be xn given that p right into prior means what let's re let's relate this one to the previous one means probability of s means samples i have written in x1 x2 xn what given that p into prior correct are you getting Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't. No, not getting. See, what we have done here. Let me use the different color. So this is the posterior one. This right. is the likelihood. Correct. This is the prior. Correct. Right. So here I have written as S. S means sample. Correct. Right. For the given p is equal to point three into uh, mm. multiplication of the product of the prior distribution. Right. Right. For that sample, that sample. No, no. For the P, the prior information. Prior information. Here P was the discrete inform. I have taken as the continuous. Okay. Correct. So here, okay. So the same thing I have written here. The probability of S given at a particular P is equal to point three. This is the continuous. So I am just taking P as given P into prior, right? Okay. Clear. Uh, clear. Okay. Now. Le, uh, so But some people were getting confused by the notation. Alpha is means proportional to. No, no, this is not alpha. This is a proportional. This is proportional only. Okay, this is uh, not alpha. This, so there is people there were thinking that alpha is here, but alpha is here proportional to here. Yes. There is a chat asking alpha. In the chat, uh, in this current session. Yes, sir. In chat, someone is right. It is alpha. No, no. I mean, see, if you are doubt, Nayan, so you can ask, you can unmute yourself, you can ask. There is not any issue, okay? Yeah, But true. if you make something hypothetically, then it will directly uh, proportional to. So say that, okay. So this is something, what? Pernoli, right? In the question is given, right? But yeah. uh, we don't know how many times one occurs, how many times two occurs. So uh, okay. Depends so in the, the sample, right? Yeah. It's a sample. So in the previous one, how we have done? We have done p into number of times one, right? Right. One minus p times number of two, correct? Correct. The same thing we can find out the likelihood. Yes, sir. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So can I write down the p times? Let's say in, in general, I am writing as a w. W means number of one, correct? Right. Number of one. Okay. 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 Can't we write p just to our one only? No, so how? Can, if you are writing p raised to power one means you are considering one only one time. One success. Okay, so you are giving any? Okay. Okay, I, but we don't know whether one is exactly occurring one time or how many times, right? Okay. Into one minus p raised to power n, n minus w. Correct. Will give you number of zero, right? Yeah. See, in the previous one, fifty-five times was one, right? Yeah. So one minus p raised for hundred minus fifty five. I mean n minus fifty five. N was the hundred samples, right? So n minus forty. Uh, sorry, fifty five will give you the number of twos, right? Oh, yeah, But here, here yeah, we are talking about zero. Only two possible value, right? Okay. Okay. Let me come to there now. So what is the prior distribution of this? This is the uh, continuous uniform, right? Right. Uh, So one, it's a uniform zero comma one. So PDF will be one comma one minus zero one, right? Yeah, one. So it's a one, right? Yeah. 
so your posterior is your your posterior is p raised power w 1 minus p raised power n minus w right so there is one uh, information i mean you have to keep in your mind actually i mean that will be beta uh, see it's it will not be given uh, what is the like for what likelihood for what prior you what will be posterior but all the distribution will be given to you you to identify which distribution is following this posterior right so there yeah. is one concept uh, if x is following beta distribution with parameter alpha and beta so pdf is nothing but so this pdf is proportional to x raised for alpha minus 1 and uh, 1 minus x raised for beta minus 1 this is something for the beta distribution okay and uh, mean of this di distribution is nothing but alpha divided by alpha plus beta, beta. okay now so this is same as this one yes okay i mean it's not it's the not w minus 1 so to me to relate this one so can i write down posterior is proportional to this is proportional sign p raised for w plus 1 and minus 1 yes because it will be beta when this is alpha minus 1 right but i have only w so can i add 1 and subtract minus 1 yeah. yes the same sorry, thing sorry, i can sorry, do sorry, for sorry, the one no no sorry i didn't understand okay so there is one concept of beta distribution so it is saying if x is follow beta distributions then pdf will be proportional to x is for alpha minus 1 into 1 minus x for beta minus 1 okay? okay see so this till this step things were uh, are clear till this okay, one okay okay so from here you to identify which distribution is this so there is something uh, beta distribution so pdf of this x is for alpha minus 1 into 1 minus x is for beta minus 1 okay okay this is the pdf i mean there is some uh, part in denominator so that's why that that all are constant that's why we are considering the proportional directly here okay okay so this is the same as this one yeah okay i mean that's just a power difference here alpha minus 1 here only w so to make it in the same format so can i write w plus 1 minus 1 okay yeah and beta minus 1 right but here n minus w is there in in the place of beta so can yeah. i write down the n minus w plus 1 minus 1 yeah so this is same as something another alpha and another beta correct correct that means w is equal to alpha minus 1 so alpha is equal to w plus 1 w just equating alpha and w uh, the alpha minus 1 and yes w. yes okay so what is the posterior density here this is nothing but beta with parameter w, w plus 1 comma n minus w per 1 so far it is clear for everyone yes sir now question is suppose what is the posterior mean alpha upon alpha so for, by, by this one we have for this posterior mean alpha divided by alpha plus beta right means this divided by w plus 1 divided by n minus ha ha very good very good so it will be w plus 1 plus n minus w plus 1 okay yes. so you got the idea everyone yes yes okay let's do for uh, some another uh, distribution some another distribution let's say for the and see for the normal distribution that uh, uh, posterior mean is something difficult so that we will provide in the formula c uh, but not for uh, another one okay i mean you have to uh, identify and you have to find out the things okay what sir uh... see for the posterior mean of the uh, normal distribution it's something difficult equations are there okay so we are providing that uh, posterior mean directly but uh, for the rest of the distribution you have to do by your own is it is it okay for everyone we draw the difficult one sir uh, posterior mean of the normal okay i mean see here posterior mean you have to find out uh, let's say for gamma you have to find out 
but uh, in case of normal there is some difficult derivation so we are providing that for our directive only for the normal not for another distribution I mean, sir, previous papers there is provided sir posterior mean of gamma yes, and alpha, gamma and beta also posterior mean of gamma and beta yes sir and okay, then okay then i need to check uh, but i don't think it sir, should be today i uh, do hmm? some papers and then see there okay uh, is it for everyone i mean is it today i am doing a uh, last to last year paper last to last year okay uh, last to last term paper in uh, 22 mm -hmm. paper mm -hmm. no sir 22 august paper yeah uh, is is it, are you referring to the table where the entire distribution details yeah are given in the formula sheet yeah yes the formula sheet yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So I guess the formula sheet is being prepared based on the questions have been uh, given to us, right, sir? Yeah, I think so. Because see, because uh, every year the formula sheet changes, sir. I have seen it. Hmm. 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 Actually, see, uh, I I think uh, posterior mean for normal is directly provided. For the rest of the thing, uh, I think you have to do directly. See, if you if it given. If prior is normal, then posterior will also be normal. Ah, uh, prior is. If prior is normal distribution, then will the posterior be also normal? Or, yeah, it's yeah. complicated. No, they are conjugate. Yeah, that that's that's the that thing is complicated. That's why we are providing for the normal. But uh, I need to check if you are saying last to last is provided, then I I need to check. But if suppose if uh, for another distribution if it's not provided, then I don't think there will uh, be any problem to find it right, because if you know the samples. Which distribution is? If you know the prior, then you have to just multiply likelihood times prior, right? That table is default, sir. It is present in all the question papers. That okay, uh, I will check. Yeah. I will check. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I will check for that. Okay, no need to worry. So, okay, so tell me, if suppose table is not given to you, will you able to do? No, sir. See, see, I mean, see, are you? Uh, I did it, see, sir. You, it is easy to beta and gamma. So. So tell me, are you not? Uh, uh, you are not able to do this likelihood times prior. Sir, no, I, no, not sure. Yes, we can do. Yeah, yeah you can do. Distribution is also somewhat okay, but the mean formulas we didn't. Me, yeah, mean, mean formula will be provided. That's I'm saying. That's I already told. Check the form. Sir, see, normal mean is different. See, 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 see. What? No, no, no. What I told. See, every distributions, okay, along with PDF. With expected value and variance will be provided yes. to all of you. Every distribution, gamma, beta, exponential, uh, yes. uniform, Poisson, binomial, Bernoulli, everything will be provided. What I told, see here for this particular scenario, your likelihood was Bernoulli, uh, and uh, prior was uniform. Then your posterior was beta. That thing will not be provided. That yes, 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 sir. Okay. Means it will not be like if your likelihood this and prior is this, then posterior will be this. You have to find out the posterior, but mean of the distribution will be provided. Yes, yes. Okay, clear to all of you. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, can you do this for beta prior? This uh, example which we took, Bernoulli. Yeah, we can do for the beta also. Okay, you can define the parameters. Is there any example that will be also for good for us to check the I mean cross check also? Is there uh, any the, example for the general formula? Okay, let's uh, do. Let's see what happens. Okay. So, sir, hmm? sir, will the prior distribution always be normal for normal distribution? See, it's not a compulsory kind of thing. So, but it's a uh, see. The there are some kind of procedure. See, in exam, that's why I told you. Posterior mean, direct posterior mean of the normal distribution will be provided. In that scenario, your prior is also uh, normal. Okay. No, sir. Will they change prior for normal distribution? No, no, no. Okay. Sir. Okay. So I think you guys are trying to uh, something. I should discuss all the QP. <laughs> so suppose prior is something beta. Okay. Someone told let's say beta, right? Yes, let's sir. say alpha or let's say m n 
let's say mn that will be clear sir can you uh, solve the activity question 10.44 okay okay i will come to that okay okay i will come to that okay. so this, this is, is bilkul same to same this is beta and beta uh, okay let me let me derive in general after that i will come to okay now okay great so this is suppose this is your samples okay and let's say this is the bernoulli okay yeah. bernoulli p and this is the prior okay i have to find the posterior correct mm. so what is the posterior posterior is uh, prox uh, likelihood of likelihood prior. times prior right yeah. now tell me what is the likelihood likelihood means x equal to x1 let's say up to xn equal to xn for the given p into pdf of the prior right so yeah. it's a p raised power w 1 minus p raised power n minus w right yes. w is the number of ones what mm -hmm. will the pdf of this one for the beta it's P a p raised yes. power m minus 1 1 minus p raised power n minus 1 right yes correct so right. it's a p raised power m minus 1 1 minus p raised power n minus 1 so far so good yeah correct now come to the next step so this is a proportional so, so p raised power can I write down W plus N minus 1, 1 minus P raised power N minus W plus N minus 1, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, I think, uh, okay, so be clear with this is, this N is the parameter of the beta, this N is the number of sample. Okay, let's uh, take a different, uh, let's you say. You've taken M and N, no? Huh? You've taken M and N. No, no. Because uh, then he will get confusion. This and are same, but this is the number of samples. This is the yeah, one yeah. parameter. Okay. Let yes, me change. Yes. Let me change. Let's take as a what? T, Alpha T. beta is better. T, yeah, T, T is better. T, T. Okay. Okay. So T minus one. Okay. Because at the end you will say why it's not two times n. Right. Okay. So. Thank so, you very much. Yeah. So it's a P raised power W plus M minus one, one minus P raised power n minus w plus t minus 1, right? So I know, we know if x is following beta distribution with parameter alpha comma beta, then what is the PDF is proportional to x raised power alpha minus 1, 1 minus x raised power beta minus 1, right? Mm. So from this, can I say posterior is, I'm writing as posterior is what? Beta. beta of what? What are the parameters now? It's alpha minus one. So in, in the place of alpha, I have W plus M comma beta N minus W plus T. What is the posterior mean? W plus M. So in this case, uh, posterior mean is what? Alpha divided by alpha plus beta, right? Yes. So W plus M divided by N minus W plus T plus W plus M, right? Yes. It is clear for everyone? Yeah. Yes. Well, what is it, sir? This is okay. So, because uh, mm -hmm. at the end, we after finding the posterior distribution, we have to find out the posterior mean, right? Yeah. So, posterior mean for the beta distribution, I mean, mean for the beta distribution is alpha divided by alpha plus beta, right? This parameter divided by summation of both, right? So, right. here uh, posterior we got with parameters w plus m divided by n minus w plus t. So, right. alpha divided by I mean, this is the beta plus alpha, correct? Clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, mm. someone was talking about some activity, 10.4, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, lecture notes, hmm? yeah, the, I think there is some difference that the, you have in the denominator, you have both M and T, right? Mm -hmm. In the lecture notes, only the T is available, M is not available. In which uh, lecture is there? The uh, notes, lecture notes which is given. Big 10. I mean, lecture number, lecture number, 10.3, 10.5. Can you tell me? I think I am not sure because there's a note, a single note, right? PDF is only single PDF. The document which is provided. That you found on the portal or through the medium or some other source? No, it's no, not. It Portal. Portal. Where, where, where? Content. Supplementary. Supplementary content. Lecture notes. 
short notes not short notes no, no. lecture slides pdf uh, lecture slides okay just a minute just thing and see parameters can be different we are in uh, week 10 right week 10 okay yeah so just tell me where it is page number uh, 11 sir 11 okay yeah. This one? This is not. This is eleven. Hmm. No, okay. By this, okay. By the PDF one, okay. I'm just going this by this page. Okay, this one. This one you are talking about? Yeah, yeah. Please come so down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so what's the? Oh, I see. Here you have both alpha, beta. So here, here it's the alpha and beta, right? Right. And thing is that uh, here prior is different. Prior is taken beta instead of so beta you've taken T, so which is why. Right. So here prior is taken as uniform, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, so there is a beta prior also. Beta. Okay, okay, okay. So parameters are alpha and beta. So see. At the end, what you got? Uh, uh, see, in the denominator, final denominator, you see only beta is there. Okay, 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 okay. So, see, I have written in general. Okay. So, see, in the place of beta, I have taken as M, right? Let me write uh, down. Beta was T. Okay, 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 one second. Okay, one second. Let me write down this. So, here, W will get cancelled out? Yes. What you got? N plus T plus M, right? So. Correct. The same thing I have done. I, I so that was in simplified way, right? So n plus beta plus alpha, right? Correct. Correct. If what are So what is the w? W is the number w of one, right? Number of one. That is the samples. Sample. That means but you have alpha plus beta in the denominator, right? Hmm? You have all alpha plus beta in the denominator. Here the final is showing only alpha. No, oh, only beta. Mm. But the previous step is showing both, but here I think I think there is some typo it's, actually. It's only typo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the uh, beta is there already, right? Alpha and beta both are there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There might be typo actually. Okay. Right. Sir. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay, so just go by concept. That's why I said you just do alpha by alpha plus beta as the parameters. Okay. As alpha and beta will vary, you, your uh, posterior mean will vary. Okay. 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 So let's do one example. I think uh, let's, there was one example for activity 10.3. 10.4. Yeah. yeah, I will come to that. There is one act activity I, if I can remember. Uh, so something give you some another distribution yeah this one i'm talking about gamma one because this should be clear also uh, okay so here says x1 x2 xn are iid samples from exponential lambda right right so x1 to xn are iid exponential lambda okay so i can find out the likelihood from this one yes. right and yes. prior is given to us 0 comma 1 that means lambda is falling uniform 0 comma 1 so far so good right right now tell me uh what is the okay let's uh okay so what is the posterior how will i find the posterior distribution likelihood, likelihood times prior correct right. yes sir. so what is the likelihood here so likelihood will be uh, product of i is equal to 1 to n fx i right into prior means what <laughs> f lambda lambda right something okay yes so what is the likelihood for the exponential it will be uh, lambda e raised for minus lambda xi right product of these all things right and this will be one are you getting the likelihood Yes sir. yes sir yes yes okay so what it will be uh, lambda raised for n e raised for minus lambda summation of xi right we have done the previously right correct 
into one. So this is lambda n. Okay. So now what we got here? Lambda raised for n e raised for minus lambda of uh, summation of x i. So let's uh, write down the x one plus so on x n. Right. These things we got right. Yeah. There is one PDF. If x is follow gamma distribution, what parameters we can take? N plus one. No, that's n plus one. You are take, uh, telling me directly. What is the PDF of gamma? Alpha. X to the power alpha minus one. Mm -hmm. Let's say parameters are alpha and beta, right? Yeah, alpha and beta. E parameters are alpha X. comma beta. So what is the PDF proportional to? X raised to the power alpha minus one into e to the power minus lambda. Lambda of beta, right? This is the PDF. What is the posterior mean? I mean mean of this one? Alpha, alpha by beta. Alpha by beta. Correct. Now this is the we know. So here posterior is proportional to this thing. So X or beta X if you are taking X. Okay, okay, okay. Beta X. Okay. Now great. So here instead of X, I have lambda, right? Yes. So but uh, alpha minus one is not there. So can I write down the lambda for n plus one minus one? Right. And e raised for minus beta X. So instead of beta, I have minus lambda X one plus X n, right? Yes. So what is the posterior distribution here? Gamma n, n plus one. It is the gamma. n plus one n plus one comma it, summation of x i's right yeah exactly yes sir okay if you want to find out the posterior mean then it will be n plus one divided by summation of x i's it is clear to all of you right yes okay now someone was asking 10.4 some question right one question of the 10.4 yes, question i think my answer is wrong uh, yeah. okay okay let's do let's do let's do one or two examples from there and after that i think uh, we have covered uh, all of the I'm not wrong which question fourth one right yes sir. okay so fourth question is saying p present the proportion of defective items that are coming out to uh, out of the production line suppose that 10 items are sampled from a production line and three are found to be defective right yes sir now tell me Use beta point five point five prior to estimate the unknown proportion p of the defective item. So tell me what will be the p? P means what? Here p is the Bernoulli. Yes, sir. I mean not p. Samples are Bernoulli. X is the Bernoulli. Yes, sir. P means why Bernoulli? Whether it will be defective or not defective, right? Yes. So for being the defective probability, the out of ten three are defective. So what is the probability of defective? Into P. P by ten. Yes. Correct. Let's say for being defective, it's one, and uh, no, zero means non-defective. Okay. Okay. Anything we can take, right? What is the probability of non-defective? One minus P. Zero point seven. Zero point seven, right? If I'm using the prior P as the beta, point five point five, right? So should I derive or uh, it will? Okay, okay. Let's let's do this one. Okay. So posterior will be what? Proportional to likelihood. Likelihood times prior. prior. No. Okay. So let's do in the general. We'll get the answer. Okay. So if you do in general, so likelihood. So p raised for w, mm -hmm. 1 minus p raised for n minus w. So w means what? Uh, defective. Defective. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I'm interested to define what is the prior? P raised power 0.5 minus. How do you change your mind? 1 minus p. And point five minus one, right? Yes. Sir. Correct. So it will be p raised power w plus point five minus one and one minus p raised power n minus w plus point five minus one, right? Yes. This is again what beta mm -hmm. w plus point five comma mm -hmm. n minus w plus point five. Correct or not? Yes, sir. Yes. N minus W. Yeah, N minus W. In... Is it correct? Correct. One second. One second. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So, what is the posterior mean here? Alpha. 
I mean W plus point five divided by alpha plus beta, right? So yeah. W plus point five plus n minus W plus point five, right? So this W will get cancelled out. Mm -hmm. What is the W here? Three. Number three. of defective. So three plus point five divided by point five plus ten plus point five, right? Mm -hmm. So three point five divided by eleven. So it's yeah. a something zero point three one. So let's see the answer. Something zero point three one should be answer. Yeah. So zero point three one, zero point three one eight. I think if it's right. So right? here we have to use the general and proceed, right? If we we cannot go with the number and proceed, it becomes difficult. Yeah, yeah. because see, if you are doing the general, add then see, uh, I can uh, I can do that directly by this one, which I have done previously, right? By this one, right? So thing is that if you do in the general, you will get the clear idea. Okay. Hmm. See, here if you do in the general, because here mm. sometimes what happen, you might get confused with the three and all things. So just find in the general. At then you can place the values. Okay. 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 Yeah. Just a minute. Yeah. Just a minute. How much more, sir? Uh, yeah, hello. How much more left now? Sorry, can you repeat? Yeah, how much more? Because I got a hard stop at next ten minutes. Okay, okay, okay. So only one question we'll do. I think I have covered all the concept. Okay, we'll do some questions related. Okay, first question. So let's do a, this one. Sixth one is the okay. I think this will this will this will give you a clear idea. I think. Okay, this one first. First one. Nice. Okay, so don't worry about that one. Okay, it's uh, something practical example we can do. We can you can proceed by the hypergeometric also, right? No, sir, I am not able to understand. Okay, okay, we'll do. We'll do at the last. Okay, just uh, let me uh, do the last. Uh, this one, uh, sixth one. Okay, because I think I hope you will get some idea from here how to proceed, right? Because here, uh, see. Prior is gamma, right? Should I do or is it okay for everyone? Is it okay? Yes, sir. Let's do it, sir. Okay. So you people will tell me here number of calls answered by a call center during an hour follows a Poisson lambda, right? And there are number of calls answered hourly over a ten hour period are these things, these values, right? Anyone can tell me values? One, two, four, six, one, six. One two four six one six one five two zero. One five two zero. These are the some samples values, right? Yes. Now we're saying from pre previous record one believes that prior distribution of lambda has mean four and standard deviation one, right? This is normal then. No. Previous gamma. It follows gamma. 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 Use gamma prior. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's say clearly use a gra gamma prior. That matches the prior belief and find its posterior mean. Okay, okay. So gamma prior we have to use, right? So prior means lambda is what? Gamma, alpha comma, beta. So what is says here? Can you tell me? It says the prior mean. is it has mean four and uh, standardization one. So here alpha and beta is not known to us, correct? Yes. So yes. We can find out the alpha and beta or not? Yes, yes. we can find. It says prior says. Mean is what four, one, and the standard deviation is one. Means variance is one, right? And what is the mean of gamma, alpha by beta is four. So this question is coming previous year, previous term. That's another thing. Let's try to understand the concept. So what is the variance of uh, gamma distribution, alpha by beta is square, right? Beta square. Yes, sir. So from here, can I find out the value of alpha and beta? Yes, sir. Yes. So here, alpha is the beta is square, right? So beta square is what? I mean, uh, it will be four beta. Four beta. So beta is four. Four, right? If beta is four, that means alpha is the sixteen. Yes, sir. Means yes, sir. I have information. Lambda is gamma. Gamma with sixteen uh, and four, right? Now I got the parameter, correct? Right. Now it says samples are poison, right? So what will be the likelihood for the poison? 
minus lambda lambda so likely would be what uh, e raised to the minus lambda lambda for x divided by x factorial so this is coming out to be as a constant Const right yes. correct e raised to the lambda also no but if you have to use for the uh, prior okay so i can write down the posterior into i mean proportional to likelihood times prior right hmm. so what is will be the likelihood so this x factorial will come in inside the proportional one so e raised power minus lambda times n yeah i if i see i'm writing directly if you do the likelihood right into lambda raised power summation of x i right right what is the prior prior is the gamma so for the gamma uh, alpha and beta right so let's say in, let's write in the general so what it will be e raised power minus lambda beta lambda raised power alpha yes alpha Correct? minus beta so what it will be e raised power so what it will be lambda raised power alpha plus summation of xi into e raised power minus lambda n plus beta right hmm is it okay for everyone where does this uh, uh, the factorial x is also sorry Yeah, this factorial is inside the proportion because it's a constant, right? Okay. Okay. So this is again something gamma. Okay. So yeah, posterior yeah, is. Sir, here prior sir lambda to the power alpha minus one. Ah, uh, alpha minus one. Yes, sir. Actually, alpha yes, minus one. Alpha minus one. Yeah. Sir, in lambda to the power alpha minus one. Gamma prime. The distribution, the distribution for distribution. gamma will be alpha minus one, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. You are talking about original distribution. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, 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 correct. So this is the alpha minus one, right? Yes. Yeah. So this will be uh, lambda plus uh, and okay. Now it is okay. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. So what are the parameters? Alpha plus summation of x i, comma n plus beta, right? Hmm. Correct. Now, what is the posterior mean will be here? Alpha by beta means this parameter by this parameter means alpha plus summation of x i divided by n plus beta, right? Yes. Right. So, what is the alpha? Alpha we got sixteen. What is the summation of x i? Means you have to add all the sample observations, right? This all. Right. So it's right. a one plus two, three, four, seven, six, uh, thirteen, fourteen, twenty, twenty one, uh, twenty six. Twenty-eight, right? Yes. And how many samples are there? Ten plus beta. We got four, right? Yes. So what is the answer? I think it will be forty-four divided by fourteen. So <laughs> then twenty-two divided by seven. That means three point one four, right? Is this the answer? Yeah, three point one four is the answer. So you got the idea how you can use the at the final step. Yes. Mm. Okay. So, if you want to stay, so we can discuss the first question. After that, uh, I think I hope I have covered all the questions, all the concepts, right? If I'm not wrong. Yes, sir. Okay. So, who was asking the first question? Yes. Sir. Hello. Who was asking the first one? Uh, first question. Okay, okay. First, first one. Question. Okay, okay. So let's discuss this. After that, we can wind up the session. I think I have covered all the concept. Okay. Hmm. And uh, you got the idea. First of all, tell me. I mean, I'm asking. Did you get the idea for every one, every concept? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So first question is saying to find an estimate of the number of olive uh, ridley turtles nesting in a town along the eastern coast of the India. You capture thirty olive ridley turtles and mark them. And there are some uh, captured one and so, something non-captured, which marked one and non-marked one, right? A week later, again you capture fifty of them and fifteen are found to be marked. So it is saying uh, find the est uh, estimate the size of the population. This is something different one. Okay, so let's say n is the uh, capital n is the population size of turtles. Okay, hmm. it's saying uh, out of these whole things. There are something marked, okay? Some are marked, some are non-marked, right? 
correct yes, yes. out of these things 30 are marked right yes okay. so if 30 are marked that means n minus 30 is non marked yes correct so what we are doing we are recapturing means after some time a week later again i am going to capture i and i have captured 50 of them and 15 were found to be marked that means i have taken a sample of 50 correct okay. and 15 were uh, marked uh, marked right that means it's not something uh, hypergeometric correct nice. See, it's a hypergeometry right uh, out of n capital bars let's say m is the red n minus m is the black okay then I am choosing the n samples of n without replacement randomly. Then what is the probability of uh, one red wall and all things, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a, it's a hypergeometric actually. So I'm uh, defining as the uh, m as the uh, number of marked turtle. Okay. So we have to find the probability of m is equal to 15. So what is this? I can proceed like this. How, sir? See, what is the PDF of geometry? Tell me, what is the probability for this one? Okay, is this okay? Is this hypergeometric or not? Tell me. Yes, sir. Yes. It's hypergeometric. It is clear to all of you. Hmm. Correct. So thirty choose fifteen into okay. Minus okay. Minus. Yeah, it's a something. Let's say suppose I'm asking, what is the probability for the fifteen? Okay, so just go by the simple probability dis, dif, uh, definition. For the probability dis, dif, definition, what it, what we have to do? What is the total case? Capital M. Total case. In how many ways you can choose the 50 samples? A, N choose 50. N, N choose 50. Correct? Yes. What is the probability? We have to find the 15 of them are marked, right? So 30 choose 15. Correct. Because in the total 30 are marked. Out of these 30, 15 is marked. When I'm go, I went for the recapture, right? If 15 are uh, marked, that means out of n minus 30, remaining 35 are non marked. Correct? Yes. This is something simple probability distribution. This is also P PMF of the hypergeometry. Okay. So far, so good. Now, uh, yes. then, uh, one derivation for the hypergeometric of expected value of hypergeometric is what? You know, uh, it's a something m into n divided by capital N. So this m represent the uh, this one, uh -huh. this marked one. This is the m actually. Okay. This is the capital M. Okay. This m represent the marked one, and uh, and my small n represent the sample size. Okay. Are you getting? Sir capital M. 30 is also 15 is also M. See, 15 means I'm interested to find okay. I'm interested to find the probability when M is 15. Okay. Mm. Okay. So this is the expected value of hypergeometric one. Okay. So this M is what? 30? What is the sample size? Oh, small, small m is 15. Yeah, it's, it's m, right? It's m. Okay. So, what is the sample size? 50 um, divided by capital M, correct? So, this is the expected number, right? But, okay. in the question, it says, a week later, I capture, I mean, I expect, is something expectation, 15 are found to be marked, right? Hmm. So can I write down expected value of x is equal to 15? By, by expected okay. Value. By this method of moment, if you consider method, what we are doing? Sample moment equal to the expected value of x. Correct. Hmm. So this x is information about my distributor, right? Yeah. Correct. What is the sample moment here? Only 50. No, sir, I'm not here. See, what is the sample moment? A small m1 is equal to expected value of x, right? These things we are using to estimate our parameter. Here we have to estimate the capital N, correct? 
right that's okay. we are using because here we have to estimate the capital line this this is the this we are doing the by the method of moment so in the question we have given the sample moment as 15 right see that sample moment can be any function of sample it can be x1 simply it can be x1 plus x2 divided by 2 x x1 plus 3 x2 divided by 2 any any function of the sample right here 15 is directly given to us right are you getting so this is x equal to expected value of x so 15 is same as 1500 divided by n i mean this will become 1500 right yes so what is the n is n is expected uh, estimate of the 100 okay so this is something we can expect here we have used the method of moments actually so why did we use that formula sir that uh, n choose 50 and all it was not no, no, it, it, it was just for the P, P, pmf of hypergeometry no need to use actually i was I, i i want to just explain what is the hypergeometry okay 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 so, i mean see in general in general what happened uh, suppose you have capital n balls okay out of them hmm. let's say m are red and n minus m are blue and if you are choosing small n samples uh, hmm. randomly then uh, let's say this is the red ball okay this is hmm. the blue or black ball so hypergeometric says what is the let's say probability let's say i'm uh, assuming uh, x is represent the number of red ball okay okay and i'm saying uh, what is the probability x equal to xi so yeah. i i will be 1 to m correct so what is the probability for this it will be n choose n uh, capital n choose i and n minus m choose n minus i this is the hypergeometric and expected value of hypergeometric become uh, m n small n divided by capital okay means this is the number of red ball this is the number of samples and divided by population size so here we we had information this we have information this we had to estimate then i use the method of moment It is okay. Clear. Mm -hmm. So, but in formula sheet, it is not given. This expected value. Huh? For a hypergeometry. Actually, it is not there in this course, sir. Yeah. Uh, means. Uh, mm. See, all the required formula will be provided to you. Don't worry about like uh, this is not provided. And I think uh, you guys are uh, making some uh, assumption based on the previous year. So we not... had a uh, hypergeometric in stats one. Yeah. But this is in our course, right? This question is in. Yeah, our... this is in our course. Uh, but uh, no, no, see. but uh, hypergeometric uh, it is uh, not. Uh, they yeah, are not we... using it very popularly. Correct. That's what I wanted to tell. Yes, yeah, uh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. But thing is that uh, we will provide all the required formula which we will ask in the QP. I mean, question paper. Okay, then I think can we wind up? Uh, I hope I have covered. And so I'm assuming you got the idea. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So let me stop the live streaming. Sir, when will the weightage uh, of like you usually mail the weightage, right? Of uh, yeah, we'll we'll provide it uh, by tomorrow on the discourse post. But yeah, I have uh, told uh, in the initial, I mean, in the beginning of the sessions. Okay, so week one to week eight will cover approximately your thirty-two uh, percent. And uh, let me share my screen. Uh, I have written. Actually, I think you have joined late. Yes, sir. A few minutes late. Yes. Okay, okay. So week one to right. week eight will cover uh, approximately thirty to thirty-two percent, and nine and ten will cover approximately forty percent, and eleven and twelve will cover twenty-eight to thirty percent. Okay. Okay, nine. More weightage. More weightage from nine to nine to twelve. Okay, nine to twelve will cover. Uh, approximately sixty to sixty-seven, sixty-seven, sixty-eight percent. But but what did you say? Like nine to ten would be around forty percent. This I have told told you separately. Okay. Okay. It's not exact. It's approximately. Okay. 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 Means you to focus more on your uh, nine to twelve. Okay then let me stop the live streaming. Okay then I think we can wind up. Yes sir. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Thank okay. You. Okay. Thanks. Thanks everyone. Hope next you got the and uh, yeah next sir, week. So tomorrow do you do we have anything? Uh yeah. not now. Not tomorrow, tomorrow nothing. Yeah. No nothing.
Right. Okay. okay. Thanks. Okay. Hope Thank you. Uh, I'm hoping uh, you will be able to do the questions from week nine and week ten. So far, I'm hoping you will be do all the questions. Sir, one more thing. Uh, yes. This uh, mock uh, mock uh, you will you are going you have going to release today. I Means. Yeah, yeah. Today. Today. Have, today. I have think released, is, uh, is it not released? Uh, yeah. So far. I, no, no. I have not seen, sir. Uh, means, okay. Okay. Uh, Anyone released, can check? Uh, can can check? Yes, sir. It's uh, out. It's, it's out. Okay, okay, okay. It's because it's we released. had a discussion with the team uh, to release at 10 p.m. It okay. is released. Oh, okay, great, great, great. So it will give a very good indication, sir, for the mm -hmm. final. Yeah, that indication. Uh, I mean, mock session and this revision session will help you. Okay. Even oh. the mock questions also will give some indication. Correct. No, correct, correct, correct. Okay. Okay. okay, I will upload under the this PDF under the section uh, live session. You can access from there. Okay, sir. Now it's a view. Please upload. Sir. Yeah, yeah. After just uh, give me some time. I will upload. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Then okay. Thanks, thanks, thank everyone. You. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.